This episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by ProFlowers.com. Get 100 blooms of love for just $19.99. Add gourmet chocolates or a teddy bear for just $9.99 more. Just click the microphone and use code TEETH at ProFlowers.com. Click the microphone and use code TEETH at ProFlowers.com. This episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Sherry's Berries. Send giant dip strawberries from Sherry's Berries starting at only $19.99. Over 40% savings or double the berries for just $10 more. Just click the microphone and use code TEETH when you order at Berries.com. Uh, what? Hey, what? Hey! Oh, podcast. <laughs> podcast. Oh, podcast. It's, it's a podcast. It's a podcast. podcast. Not only is it a podcast, it's a podcast full of energy. It's the so much energy. Rooster Teeth podcast. The official, the first, the best. Is On right? iTunes, Gus. I'm Bernie. I'm Gus. I'm Gavin. I was going to let you say I'm Gus again. I'm Jack. And I'm Gus I'm again. It comes, yeah. at, it comes after you. Got, yeah, I know, I, but I was letting him throw an extra one in. Fuck, okay. amateur hour up Jesus here. Jesus Christ. The I'm giving you been on the podcast I'm before. I'm bonus Top Gus. and bottom. Do you know how it works? I get top billing, and you always bill the biggest person last. Y'all are opening act for me. So I get top billing, and y'all are the yeah, opening act, the, and then I yeah. come back. The one no, no, no. The new I, don't, pro- I don't go first, middle, and last. I go first and last. There's a fucking mess here. Yeah, but the difference is when you'll build last, it's also as someone. Yeah, it should be Gus Sorola as Gus Sorola. Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah. And, and no. Gustavo Sarola as Gus Sarola. There you go. There you go. Now it now Gustavo it's Sarola the third. The Academy Award Energy. as Gus Sarola. Goes Raul. To Energy. Also, Sarola it's also the, the last one is also if it's a new person, like a kid, like and introducing Introducing Jake Lloyd. Yes. <laughs> Gustavo Sarola the third as Gus Sarola. Yeah, That's yeah, what you should yeah, yeah. do. I gotta so, have my like little dimples trickle smile. I was I was gonna say something, and then I don't know what I was gonna say. Probably about Philip Seymour Hoffman. Oh, it's fucking it's depressing, isn't it? Yeah, that is super depressing. Dead. Man. He's got three kids arm. too. That's what yes, really sucks. Three kids. Oh, what I read yeah. is that he had. Well, of course, no one knows yet, right? It's still new that he had been a heroin addict when he was younger, had kicked it for many years, then just recently picked it back up. Are yeah. you, do you ever kick a heroin addiction, or is that like you always something have a little you're craving? Just, you're just kind of in like remission, basically. Supposedly, that's life. when most people die is when they relapse. I believe it. Yeah, but because they don't know the dosage that they need, basically. yeah, they just, or they get back into it where they were. I would imagine. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they, their tolerance is not as high as it was. But we don't know that's how he died, but from the reports the that I've read, he was found in a bathtub in his New York apartment with a needle in his arm. I'm right. just happy that we didn't mention his name in a recent Let's Play, okay. because I would feel very <laughs> guilty if that happened again. Yeah, we killed I'd say Tom his Clancy. name we did mention. Who? The Denver Broncos. <laughs> <laughs> so, Man, Streak dude, is alive. The people fucking would not stop talking yeah. about that. What, so, oh, is, Jack, is Jack controlling? Jack's look, controlling. Look, looks Peyton like uh, the Achievement Hunter prediction is coming true. Looks like the Achievement Hunter prediction is coming true. Looks like the Achievement Hunter prediction is coming true. Who, anyone that's... else watching the Super Bowl? Who are you talking to that's saying this? Oh, we get the worst Super Bowl. Well, well, it's, it's, it's impressive, everyone. right? That's uh, the second time in a row. Well, the, no, that's the, the fourth time in a row. I agree with you. I said, we've we okay. We actually so we've said that. Oh, we're, what it doesn't count before Gavin. Yeah, I guess Jack. not. No, I mean this was a let's play that we were physically controlling. The lads were in control of the winning team. What were the previous ones? Age predicts. Uh, yeah, they're age predicts. Okay. We let the computer play itself. Sure. And, Totally uh, valid. I think we've done it either four or five times now, and we've only missed one. We I thought we went undefeated, but I went back and looked, and we actually the Steelers versus Broncos. We picked the Steelers to win. Okay, Gavin, right, you made the That's story. Why I didn't mention the other one. <laughs> it's because it's like it ruins the whole I'm, thing. I'm telling the truth. I'm I'm putting the actual thing out there. I don't want to lie. I'm not living a lie. Gavin, tell your version of it. Yeah, we put it twice in a row. Brilliant. <laughs> 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 Gonna sulk now. But you actually, I mean, you guys. Sucked hardcore because the Jets played Dude, Denver Broncos. They, they beat the shit out of us. Do you think man. that the Seahawks, the Seahawks defense, man, the Seahawks defense? Well, you know, it, should it, the Seahawks pay us? <laughs> you, you, yep. you like you made it happen for them. We made it happen. I guess that just goes show like it was the number one defense, number one offense. Fucking defense wins championships. Yeah, absolutely. I thought for sure the Broncos had the fucking amazing offense all year long. I thought for sure they were gonna win yeah. that game and do well. Did you see all the headlines from Seattle? Like that the Seahawks winning breaks a thirty-five year title drought in the city of Seattle, mm. and like eight papers were running that story, including all the papers in Seattle, about how this has been 35 years since we've had a championship. You know, this amazing championship coming back to Seattle, all this stuff. They won two WNBA titles in like the last six years. Yeah, the most recent <laughs> was 2010, I think. Like, it, it was just a couple of years ago. And the Oops. photo was like this WNBA player, she's like, <laughs> I would like to name her, but it's apparently their star player, and she's just like, has a look at her face, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> That's really funny. That That's, would be um, awful to read that. Pornhub, yeah. Pornhub released stats of people <laughs> watching porn on their website in the cities of Denver and the cities of Seattle, and you can see when Denver gives up on the game, it goes back to porn. <laughs> yeah, it's like it spikes. Like, in, er, in like early to mid-third quarter, it's yeah. like Pornhub traffic in Denver shoots back up to like a normal level. 
You know, listen, I gotta say, this is like I've seen a couple of these things that Pornhub has done, like funny, like metric kind of meme stuff, you know, yeah. in relation to current events. I don't want porn sites collecting information. I don't want the, well, I don't use their site. Yeah. Of course they can to tell whether you're there or not. L- listen, I just don't want them like knowing that they're actively tracking information. <laughs> well, I don't want that. Address. I mean yeah, pretty like four years from now, I'll be like, hey, look at the funniest snapshots from your laptop camera. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ten biggest uh, silent fails. <laughs> yeah, listen, I get, I listen, every time that fucking video with me and Jeff goes up on Tosh.0, I get tweeted that about we, one of our shorts went up on Tosh.0 because they fucking called us and asked us, hey, we like this video. Can we put it up on our thing? Which we're like. Sure, it's Tosh.0, a lot of people watch it, and they clearly do watch it, because every time it comes on, I get tweeted at, like, at least three dozen times. People are watching the show. It's relevant. The problem is, and I don't know why this bothers me so much, but it bothers me, is they call it a viewer-submitted video. <laughs> like, we went out and, like, submitted the video to Tosh.0, asking them to put yeah. it up. Oh, when well they done, came, guys. You made it. <laughs> when, yeah, good job. And that's what everybody says to us. They're like, oh, hey, you guys got on Tosh.0, you've made it. It's like, go oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking we, Tosh.0. We have the graph down, if you're curious, to see uh, Denver Bronco yeah, versus see, Seattle see spike. traffic in the, <laughs> at Pornhub. <laughs> so, pretty, so pretty soon on Pornhub, they're going to have, they're going to call them user-submitted photos. <laughs> yeah. so no, the, the Seahawks weren't far behind there, though. Uh, no, I mean, well, I mean that's over the course of it, only a few hours, so it's kind of a, that's a big spike. They were leading by a whole lot there. Yeah, that the Pornhub people they've been like really popular on Reddit. Like, yeah, they, they did an AMA a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I think I think they even responded to Ray at some point. I think like, they follow they Ray follow on Twitter now. Yeah, well, they follow a whole bunch of people on Twitter though. So, well, do oh, they, they follow that, you? Yeah, no, they, don't they follow yeah. Ray. Oh, they <laughs> do. He's got a well, no, I'm saying, like, I, know, I know. Oh, they follow a lot of people. I'm not one of them, but you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you rather be followed by someone who's following five thousand people or followed by someone who's following like a hundred? I'd rather be followed by. It's all fucking irrelevant. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. I All listen. Right. I have. I get followed by my cat's fake Twitter account, and I think that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that my cat. My cat. That's a fake Twitter account. Congratulations! There are about to be ten more of them. Now. Yeah, I'm that okay. has. Uh, what is it? What is it up to now? Yeah, yeah. my my beard account has slowed down. Whoever, whoever is posting is my Watch beard. Watch out! Your beard is trending my, down. Uh, I know, man. My nose has followed me as well. Yeah, which is important. Yeah, so who, they, actually, I feel I did, like you would follow your nose. though. It's funny. I did, oh. I do. I did direct message my beard one time. <laughs> <laughs> like. I think I think I no. I basically direct message said I don't know who you are. I don't want to know who you are, but you're doing a good job. I would so, I would. It's one of those situations where you go back in time. You try and explain to a caveman <laughs> what you've just done. Right. That would never make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I sent a message to my beard, except it's not my beard. It's someone else pretending to be it my. It was beard. a man in another village. Who plays my beard in the air? <laughs> <laughs> he pretends to be my beard so other people can hear the funny things my beard says. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, everyone experienced life as my beard. Talk to that guy. Yeah, <laughs> and I had to. T- I had to talk to him. Man, there, there's some parody accounts on Twitter that are actually pretty funny. Like, well, there, there's someone made a parody account for the new Texas uh, football coach, and he's made some really, really funny tweets. Yeah, I know. I so, see you retweet them. Oh, you're a fan, Gus. I Hilarious. can tell by that the look on your face right now. I like novelty, like in the moment Twitter accounts. You like someone made a Twitter account last night, which was uh, has Denver scored yet? <laughs> and <they> just, <laughs> it had two just, tweets. Just tweeting no. Yeah. <laughs> they, they tweeted no, and then the next tweet they had was fuck. <laughs> 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 but they also there was that uh, that uh, popular image that got tweeted a lot during the Super Bowl last night of Peyton Manning on the phone, and oh, some, yeah. some when I captioned it, "Mom, can you come pick me up?" Yeah. And I think that was uh, that was created by there it is yeah there you go. It was created by some girl, uh, some like teenage girl in Auburn, Alabama. That's and funny. And she tweeted it. And you can see it's got over 12,000 re- retweets there and almost 9,000 <laughs> favorites. It's like a girl who at the time had like 300 followers. That's yeah, you crazy. expect something with that many retweets to be you know, a celebrity that everyone is doing. And yeah. The fact that it's just some random girl is pretty cool. That, yeah. as they say in the industry, went viral. That is viral. Yeah, you saw a bunch of those. There was one who was, uh, hey, Papa John's, are you guys hiring right now? <laughs> like, yeah. All right. I don't get yeah. It. Peyton, Peyton Manning was in Papa John's commercials. He also owns. Oh. Like, he I was wondering. I don't know. I was wondering what the Papa I, I, I John's. Could, I could were. tell. No, so. he, he also owns a, a lot of Papa John's restaurants. Oh, that explains so. why he's in the commercials. Exactly. Also, how old is that guy? Uh, he's thirty-seven. Thirty-seven or thirty-eight. Yeah. That's old as hell for a sport. For for a, for a quarterback, yes, that is very old. He's had really like for uh, uh, pieces of his parts of his vertebrae like fused together. Damn. Yeah, he went through like four surgeries on his neck, I, and that's and he came back from that, and he still made it to the Super Bowl, which in, is really really impressive. In football, English football, you're usually past it, you know, after thirty. Unless you're a goalkeeper, you can sometimes stay a little. What bit was Vinny Jones? Was he just an enforcer, like thug kind of a guy? Yeah, he was a footballer. Yeah, but I mean, he was. <laughs> 
Oh, well, thanks, football. Thanks. Devin what position did he play or how old was he? I bloody know. I'm not a fan of Vinnie Jones. All right, all right. Take it easy. I was just asking a question that you might know the answer to. Yeah, we had a funny discussion with Gavin earlier where he was, of course, picking on American football. And I had to point out to him that American football is designed essentially to be like a highlight reel where there's a play and either there's a score or somebody gets hit every single play. I mean, sometimes get out of bounds, sometimes, a, you know, uh, incompletion, sometimes. But that's the way it's designed, for there to be a big hit yeah. or a score every single we play. We have a sport for that. It's called rugby. It makes more sense. Uh, rugby never stops, though. There's no, there's no breathing. I, I, I don't want I'm to go record right point. now. It's all the benefits. Saying, I watched the NRL finals, or no, I didn't. I was going to watch them, but we didn't go. So I was almost committed to going to see that <laughs> for the Sydney Roosters versus the Manly Sea Eagles. And uh, <laughs> the Manly Sea Eagles, yeah, Manly Bay, wow, in Australia. That's my team. Wow, yeah. <laughs> they walk on the pitch and you got to get a hat. And uh, I, I was just pointing out that, like, I, I guarantee, if you put a, if you put a a rugby player from the top leagues and you put him in the NFL, he would probably get killed. But an NFL player in rugby would probably do okay. How? Yeah, I can see they, that. You, the way they get hit in the NFL because they have the pads is unbelievable. It is absolutely unbelievable how hard they get hit. So They get it, hit pretty fucking hard yeah. in And it's not to take too. anything away from the rugby guys. The rugby guys are fucking amazing. They are. Guys They're are like the, tree trunks. Yeah, but the, the, an NFL guy without the pads it's would not the same kind break of hitting. his damn neck. Yeah, it's not no, the same not kind of hitting. No, no, no I, I agree with that. And it's, the rugby guys are built for endurance. They're not built for strength. Like, I mean, no, no, the football guy, like, the, I would say, also, this to a, say this to a rugby team. Oh, right no, now. no, I, I could get my ass kicked by any <laughs> rugby player. I have no, no qualms about that. I've seen some very hard, very hard hits in rugby, but there's still that, because you don't have the pads, nobody has the pads. So there's that idea that, you know, if I hit you, I'm hitting me as hard as I'm hitting you, yeah. essentially, is the yeah. way it works. It's not quite the way the physical. If you drop a helmet into someone's chest, like you're gonna fuck it in them. Yeah. So I mean it's cool. It's cool to see someone get absolutely mullet in American football. It's just it hard you're waiting around all the time. So stop start. I'm not a fan. Did, did you hear that uh after the game supposedly Peyton like Manning cricket. went up to uh, Richard Sherman to ask him how he was doing? Oh really? Yeah, like he was genuinely concerned about his ankle, wanted to make sure he was okay. Yeah. And I guess Richard Sherman uh, had a bunch of like really positive tweets about him and talked about him a lot. That's uh, cool. On some radio interviews, it was today. it was funny. Like someone was telling me, it was like, oh, you know, Richard Sherman, he had like he didn't do anything last night. It's like no, because they weren't throwing to the guy he was covering. Right. Like he didn't have to do anything because he was covering him so well. He's that, that just happened a lot to Dion back in the day. Yeah. It's like when you're a great corner, no <laughs> one really knows because yeah. they don't throw at you. Exactly. But yeah, he he played pretty well. And, also, uh, yeah, the Denver offense was on the field. Hardly at all. Yeah, they were four turnovers. I think we had we had ten picks in our game, including one from a backup quarterback, <laughs> and because uh, Peyton got hurt in the fourth quarter and in, in our oh, let's, in our in our let's play, yeah. and uh, yeah, so we got you know that's the first let's play I've seen you leave the room, for. dude. I was I was frustrated with myself, and it was like I, I had to leave uh, once in Worms. That's the one time I got up and left just because I was horrified. No, I I, le I left during Minecraft too. The way you said it, you left in Worms. You took a phone call. I imagine kind of leaving well, the room covered off. in worms, <laughs> <laughs> I, and I was so mad I left in Worms. <laughs> it was like a carry moment. <laughs> <laughs> just like covered in worms. Did you see guys see the tweet? Which I don't know who it was, but it must have been one of the Denver Broncos players. Uh, and he tweeted. He he posted a picture of his conversation, his phone conversation. Oh, yeah. Where he said, he was to his kid, he goes, sorry we let you down. And the kid just wrote back, it's okay, daddy, you're still my hero. It's just like, and he goes, <laughs> he goes, the good news is we get to spend a lot of time together now. And I was like, <laughs> I was like reading this, he was like, oh my god. They should get some points for that in some way. He still gets a ring, still gets his championship ring. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. So. Does he get an NFC or does he get a Super Bowl ring? You get an NFC ring. You okay. Get, you get an NFC, well, but you get your conference ring and then you get a Super Bowl ring. Those things Wait, are all ridiculous. the Broncos ridiculous. got an AFC, aren't they? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. AFC. Yeah, come on, get your shit straight. Sorry, sorry, NFC, AFC. I'm still well, I grew up as an AFC guy. Did you watch football growing up? I watched the Cowboys back in the '90s when they were good. Like, oh uh, Jesus, that was a Jimmy good Johnson time era. to watch the Cowboys. And then I kind of lost track of it. But then I followed. Then I followed college football when I started going to UT. So like right around Ricky Williams getting kind of big in the late '90s, I started following college football. And then really about 2005 when we won the national championship, I was like, well, you can't do better than that. So I started watching NFL. The uh, there was an article. That's a long answer to that question. Yeah. Okay. Well, really yes. Long. There was a <laughs> there was an article in Sports <laughs> Illustrated last week talking about <laughs> cities that should host the Super Bowl that have never hosted the Super Bowl. Yeah. And uh, Austin was on that list. Yeah. No. Nope. Don't do, do not do, don't it. do it. That nope. is a fucking terrible yeah. idea. Why? We do not have the public transit no. or the uh, the infrastructure to support moving that many people Here's around. Here's why, Jack. You mean, you mean, Here's like, why. You mean like Coda or, me, or like Circuit of the Americas exactly. or like South by Southwest? All the hours we of say nothing but positive things about the city on a regular basis. You cannot 
deny the fact that the infrastructure of the city is sucks balls. You see the no, picture, I, the picture that we showed on the podcast last week about with the ice storm. Mm. How <laughs> a week before it was a week before it was somebody posted on on the Austin subreddit. It was a picture of the traffic map oh, in yeah, Texas, yeah. but scaled out. Yeah, and yeah. Te- Austin was destroyed and everything else. Okay, Austin still to this fucking day still does not have a single road that you can take to our airport and not hit a red light. What? It'll be ready in a year and a half. We're going to have one. Oh, wait. Is it a year and a half still? They're building a bridge that's taking... It's not even a bridge. It's like an overpass kind of thing. And it's going to take... It's basically they're they're circumventing one intersection. And it's going to take them a year and a half from now. And it's been under construction for like a year. (laughs) It's so crazy. The city just can't handle some things. We do some things really well, but we can't handle people. But honestly, South by Southwest pulls in more people than the Super Bowl does. And it sucks! I I, I would argue that is not true. Really? I think it's like like a quarter million. What? South by is like a quarter million. Jack might be right. Uh, Oh, yeah, over the whole course of the event. For for each specific event at any time, you probably peak at about 60,000 people. Well, you do also point out that any home game at UT has more people than a Super Bowl. Yeah, there's 108,000 people at UT Right, but a lot of those people are, I want to say, are local, so they're used to getting around. They're going to find the side streets. They're not going to choke up 35 for hours. Even then, okay, it would suck ass for a week, but we get the fucking Super Bowl in our backyard. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it'd be totally fine. And it's not like, it's not a recurring thing. No, no, no. I'm just arguing both sides. (laughs) (laughs) I was going to say, weren't you on my side when we started this? (laughs) That's two fights. You're just chucking logs in both (laughs) of them. But it's not a recurring thing. It'd be a one time thing we'd see maybe once every 15 to 20 years. I don't want the Super Bowl. No. I think it'd be cool. Oh, let me ask you this. Would you rather have the Super Bowl or would you rather have the national college final? Which will be next year will be playoffs. Oh, oh like the, the playoff game? Uh, Super Bowl. No really? way. Yeah. No fucking way. Insane. You're yeah. fucking crazy. Crazy person. Would you rather crazy. watch? Crazy. Unfollow Jack's beard right now. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Would you rather watch? Uh, would you like to watch Alabama play in our home arena and win a national championship in front of us in our hometown? <laughs> so you said you're scared of losing. No, so, no. So what? Saying, you're saying you'd like to watch the Redskins win? No, I'm saying, well, I mean, Austin. No Redskins. offense to the fucking fans in DC. I'm just pointing out a Austin, team that doesn't come from Austin. Austin doesn't have a professional team. Austin, the Redskins so, like, we have really no allegiance to any one major team. I Is mean, aside really from the Longhorns. A team called the so, Redskins. Yeah, yeah Washington, Washington Redskins. Redskins. That's that's racist as hell. <laughs> <laughs> your fucking, your, your club that you root for screams Yid Army at, at your game. Yeah, at your games. but they're not called the Tottenham Hot Jews, are they? <laughs> They're called the Yid Army. <laughs> no, that's like the, that's like the, the nickname. If you're a fan, from, oh, it's the, the nickname. nickname. Oh, no. the nickname. <laughs> it's not racist, Gus. It's the nickname. Yeah, it's just a nickname. It's fine. Well, it's like calling history. Arsenal the Gunners. They're not called the Gunners. They're called. <laughs> what do you? They're mean? called Arsenal. Oh, you're saying it's unofficial name? No. So it's not racist. Said that they're called the Redskins. So yeah. it's not it's not racist because it's unofficial. Is what you're saying? Yeah, and also so like like the like yeah. Florida State Seminoles. Like, is that racist? Redskin, no, but Redskins in particular. Redskins Seminole. Is, yeah, Seminoles, yeah. It's, that's a tribe. Yeah, it's still, you know. Like, fluid. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, man. <laughs> wow, <they're laughs> what is the Seminoles? Seminoles, not Seminole. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for not noticing the slight difference there. Seminoles, anyway. Seminoles is a tribe of the Native American Redskins. <laughs> Anyway, watching a college team other than the other than Longhorns play at UT Stadium at, at the field, I that would be weird and I wouldn't like that. But that's what they do at the Super Bowl, Jack. The professional team they they played in Giants Stadium. Yes. And the Giants fans got to watch the Seahawks win. Yeah, uh, but yeah, that, I mean that's still weird to me. I would feel it would feel strange to watch another team on your field. That was the, there was a Super Bowl commercial like that, wasn't there? There was for was all great. the for all the NFL people who cheer for NFL teams. Who like the Super Bowl is supposed to be your big holiday, unless your team didn't make it. Then it's like watching which is most some, of you. Yeah, someone else dance with the girl you like at prom, <laughs> and then watching people take pictures of them and show them to you over and over <laughs> for even, four hours. But for that, there's a like, TurboTax commercial. Really? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was really weird. It was like this long, rambling huh. story, and at the end, it's like, "Well, do your taxes." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Get, get the biggest check in your life. But anyway, so I, I wouldn't mind watching professional teams play on UT's field, like to me, because I have no allegiance to either of those teams coming in. All right, it fair would, enough. If we're I, not, if this I is I just, a personal selection, we're not going to convince you. Otherwise. If I just sit there and watch Alabama win on our home field, I would. Or think think about like Oklahoma You're, coming to Austin and winning a national championship in our backyard. That would suck, but that I mean that's, that's the risk you run anytime there's a, a. Can you imagine if you're hosting the Super Bowl, your team goes to the conference championships, you don't win, and your rival team comes and wins on your home field. Oh, it that, happens. That so how brutal. is this worse? Has that ever having, happened? What has that ever happened? I don't know. That's a very specific scenario. Okay. No, I don't know. This isn't <laughs> as bad as hosting a World Cup and having someone beat you in your own country. Like first it's not as round. bad. No, that's have the whole like country thing is way worse. Like the whole country is ready. 
and then you get beaten. And you have four years to wait to try to redeem yourself. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, no, that's no. worse. Like, would you like to have the World Cup in Austin? That'd be cool. Yeah. Even though you don't like European yeah. football? No, I'm all for bringing big events football? to Austin. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for bringing big events to deal here. with it. No, I mean, as long as it's not another college team. If if it's a one time thing, I'm like, I'm cool with it. Like, but if it's a recurring thing, it's like, okay, at that point, it starts getting a little bit more chaotic. Tilo is cool cool with it. it. All right, got it. (laughs) It's it's in the records. There you go. I just said that to our newest city council position in Austin. (laughs) Do you know who this is? The newest city council position? No. We have a chief innovator. Oh, they make like 120,000 a year. She innovates. You know where she works? She works in the innovation space. (laughs) Is that a joke? Nope, it's a real thing. We pay a we lot of We have an innovation space? And she, it's where she works, apparently. It's her desk. Is she like a la- the lamest superhero ever, and that's like the name of her hideout? The innovator. To the innovation space. <laughs> in, in her defense, her, her, her resume was pretty fucking awesome uh, when they hired her. What did she do? I, but I don't, nobody can really explain it. She innovates, it. Gus. She's an innovator. She got hired. From what I understand, she got hired in December, I think. She got, she, she got hired for, to do a buzzword. Her job is a buzzword. Her job's a buzzword, pretty much. Yeah. I'm a yeah. synergist. Okay. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Can I be a synergist? I want to be a synergist when I grow up. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. 130K a year. 130,000. What is that in real money, Gavin? Probably like 80, 90 grand, is it? Oh. Yeah. In pounds? Probably like 80. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find out. Uh, so more right. uh, Super Bowl. <laughs> she's she's, she's going to work to establish innovation <laughs> methodologies such as open innovation. <laughs> what? Yeah. Should they're just oh, using she... the word innovation yeah. over and over. That's what it's called. She's going to innovate through innovations in the innovative space. <laughs> yeah. Money. It's not like saying she's a firefighter. Oh, she fights fires. Got you know it. What I understand what she does. Uh, it's like, it's like it's, it, the first press conference uh, that, that she ever held, the, the press talked to her. They go, what is the chief innovator? What are you going to do? She goes, I'm going to innovate. And they go, what are you going to innovate? Well, I made this job up. <laughs> <laughs> just drop the mic and walk out. Kick over the podium and leave. I mean, you know, everyone's like, oh, that's that's really good. Yeah. No, no, that's yes. really good. Give her a paycheck. There she is. There she is. Oh, our man. Chief. Carrie O'Connor. We should invite her onto the podcast. She, she can innovate the podcast. I bet the shit we, we get thing. on the podcast, she'd explain what, what she did. We'd be like, oh, actually, that's how much? Good. How many How many Twitter followers does the chief innovator of Austin have? Hey, Miss O'Connor, that's can what I, I make a recommendation? Probably. Probably. Let's not have a permanent 24-hour-a-day traffic jam between 1st Street and 51st Street <laughs> innovate on I-35. Going. Can we just work that let's out? Let's innovate our way out of that. <laughs> let's try something. I, I know. Let's bury the fucking interstate for twelve blocks. That'll fix everything. That, that'll fix everything. That's like the current plan, We're right? Already taking it into the sky. Basically, the Austin freeway system is now like Minecraft, <laughs> where you, you made no planning at all. And you're yeah. just building shit up. It's like, down. It's like, it's like an upper upper city. deck. We'll, just, we'll keep going. It'll be like Fifth Element by the time we're done. <laughs> It's flying cars and shit. You're like, what happened? Well, we went down 64 levels and we hit bedrock. So <laughs> that, that's it. We're, we're done There now. was an accident involving some lava, but we found a lot of diamonds on the way down, <laughs> yeah, so the fucking treasury is set. <laughs> See, I, mean, I am the chief innovation officer walks around carrying nothing but a cooked pork chop and a bucket of water. <laughs> Government. Yeah, so there's a lot of things like about Austin, but there's a lot of weird stuff too in Austin. So, what was your favorite Super Bowl commercial, Bernie? Man, I gotta say, out of all of them, it really resonated with me. Was the uh, uh, Radio Shack commercial? That is the correct answer. But I gotta say, we're making fun of Austin, but that was made by an Austin company, GSDM. Oh, really? mm-hmm. Made that one. Ray there was Austin. there were a lot of terrible ones. I thought, including Dude. that weird cow fucking one. That was really bizarre. <laughs> to sell trucks, let's talk about this cow that's gonna fuck all of these other cows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you're paraphrasing. <laughs> I hope. No, no, that was the commercial. Well, I didn't see that one. I actually, it I was wa- a Chevy commercial. So I actually, for I, this is kind of cool. I watched the game online. I, so I'm uh, the thing was I didn't see all the commercials that you know was on the public broadcast because the digital broadcast they have different commercials. But uh, yeah, so that was kind of cool to be able. to I don't have TV at my house, but I still watch the game. That's cool. Yeah, Fox had an but app that you, they were streaming. You missed the fucking commercials though. Well, I mean, I but I still got a few of them, like the Radio Shack ad yeah. with all the the you know eighty celebrities and stuff. I got that one. But uh, yeah, that was cool. And but I saw the the puppy one, the 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 Budweiser puppy Dude, one. Dude, what the fuck is the deal with Budweiser and those fucking over the top <laughs> cheesy? They had that one and sappy then, commercials that are supposed to evoke some dude, kind of emotion, they, but just come across as fucking stupid. Maudlin. They had that, yeah. They had the soldier one, the welcome home one. 
that was uh, like not not to speak ill of soldiers. I'm uh, all for the American army and or any army and soldiers. You move over the couch before you say incredible. whatever you're about to say. Just but go closer to Gavin. That commercial was so like just dramatic and just over the top. And it's like, okay, it's one guy. There's tons of soldiers out there. How come? Uh, I don't know. It was, it guys, was just, don't it forget. Was too much. Did, you, did you guys forget the Super Bowl that was four months after 9 11? Yeah. That was like, those, <laughs> all of those commercials were like super over the top. Yeah, nine nine eleven was supposed to be like the opening week or week two of the NFL season. Yeah, and they delayed it. Yeah, they delayed. Yeah, they game. they took a week. Or off. did a whole a whole weekend, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know yeah. what the eighties thing? Like anyway. Radio Shack has been through a couple rebrands. I mean, this commercial could be good because it was very self effacing, and they're trying to get away from the whole honestly shitty Radio Shack image and outdated one. What's it called? Radio Shack. It's Get from like the name. It's like, it's it's like two the, things. Who, who said it? Someone said it's like two things that don't exist anymore. Radios and Shaq. And basically the 80s called and they want their uh, the store back. They want the store back. Yeah, is that actually Mary Lou Redden? Redden? That's I don't, her. It is? That's Kid and Play right there I always think Kid and Play is being more of a 90s thing. That's the one that kind of threw it off for I me. totally agree with you. And we yeah. just talked about Bubo on the Bubo. podcast. Yeah. Like weirdly, we just talked about that the other day. Hubert, Cliff Clavin, Teen Wolf. Yeah. Chips. <laughs> Chucky. <laughs> yeah, all that stuff. So I like that a lot. You know, it's funny because... We were just talking about this. Gus, do you remember this? Gavin was really surprised to hear that. This, um, I don't know how we got on the topic, but bottled water is a new thing. Like, bottled water didn't exist when I was a kid. I mean, it existed. Right, but, but it wasn't we, like a common thing. Right, and I guess people just think that we've always had bottled water and that bottled water was a thing you just bought all the time. I think when I was younger, I can remember Evian. And Evian it was, like, was the one. It was like super expensive. It was, it was like... And Perrier. Yes, and it was like a high price commodity item. Like, a niche if product. you were really rich, you would buy the water in the bottle. Right. So why because would it you... cost like a crazy amount of money? But then everyone just started selling. And you it. remember uh, the movie Reality Bites, which was like the Generation X touchstone yeah. movie? They had a whole scene where they made fun of people who drink bottled water. They made fun of Evian is naive spelled backwards. Mm-hmm. So how did you get? How did you drink water just out of the tap? <laughs> how did you drink with us? How did you drink? We went water? to the river, uh, <laughs> or we went to the well. And we made sure there were bucket. no dead bodies in it. And everyone then we pulled water up and drank. <laughs> so you did drink We had to th- wait till it rained. And then everyone just walked with their mouth open <laughs> to catch as much water as they could, hoping that it rained again at some point. And then we invented umbrellas and we had a problem because everyone kept dying of dehydration. So then we invented <laughs> bottled water to make up for that. Have you figured out how we drank water yet for real? <laughs> he so, really he really didn't know so what you dr- our solution was for drinking water because we you didn't just bottled d- water. Drink out of a hose? What did you do? You drank out of the of course you yeah. drank it out of the tap. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, before all that nonsense, tap water in this country is gross, dude. No, it's, it's totally disgusting. fine. Well, it depends where you are, too. Austin Aust- tap water is Austin's pretty shitty. Austin's awful. It tastes well, like Well, because we sit on a, a base of limestone. That's like the whole city's on limestone, and it's very... Plus, just, the water who, supply um, here is prone to fungal blooms, yeah. which make it taste fucking gross. Yeah. Well, at least, like, where I grew up, out in the middle of nowhere, we got all of our water from the Rio Grande, and out of the tap, it was cloudy, and there was shit floating in it, and it <laughs> smelled horrid. Hmm. Without well, fracking, that stuff's crazy. So what'd you do if you wanted to drink it? I drank it anyway. Gross, dude. It was absolutely gross. I never noticed the bad smell until I left for college. And I came back to visit my parents one time, and I poured myself a glass of water out of the tap, and I was like, I was like, has this always smelled like this? My parents were like, oh, yeah. Your well, immune system okay, must be. Okay, city boy. <laughs> your immune system must be amazing. Yeah, like, I went to Houston, and I was spoiled by the Houston tap water. That's how <laughs> that shitty the lot. water where I grew up for was. Those, uh, for those who live, well, where I'm from in England, you just find the tap, the tap water is like tastes like filtered water. It's really nice yeah. and clean. Leave some of that out for like three weeks and then drink it. And that's what Austin tap water Oh, tastes shut like. the fuck up. You no, know. I'm serious. No, I believe I'm it. deadly I, serious. I totally believe yeah. it. Austin tap water, you guys are lunatics. You once, you once, I'm drinking it right here. Delicious. You once called me out. You said you gave me two glasses of water. Spit take, spit take, spit take. <laughs> <laughs> I hit myself in the face. You gave me two glasses of water. One was from our filter and one was from the tap. And you were like, taste it. I bet you won't be able to tell which one it is. I smelt one of them and I was like, that's the tap water. And you were like, oh, damn it. It's right. That did happen, actually. Yeah, Man, he was I, right. I was in Galveston this weekend, and this, we I poured water out of a tap, and it was white. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was like milk coming out. I was like, oh, mm, that's... Good old coastal Texas milk water. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Mm. That was, that was not good. That's a, that's a serious innovation. You get your calcium and your water <laughs> all in one place. You know, like, like something like 40 to 50% of all bottled water now is tap water. Mm. Like... Mm-hmm. Dasani's Atlanta tap water. It's, all, it's Atlanta municipal water. Mm-hmm. That's the uh, the oily film water. Dasani? Yeah. I, listen. It's so oily. People, uh, we know some people who sing as well, like they're in bands and stuff, and they're very particular about the water that they'll drink and won't drink. And I don't ever experience what you're talking about, 
But I know people that are like, oh, I won't drink that water because it's got a residue. It's like, what yeah. the fuck? I don't know what you're I'm talking I'm totally about. a water snob. I don't know. So I don't like this thing right here. I'll drink like five of these a day, but I drink five, one of them in like 20 seconds. Like mm. I just drink water yeah, just in a go. It. I, don't, I don't sit there and you, sit. You, so you know what the worst water is? Sorry, I'm going to go back to no, this for a second. I, I just, someone tweeted about this and it reminded me. Uh, was Swedish Fish 182. The worst water is Orlando water. Because it smells so horrid. Have you ever taken a shower in Orlando and you turn the shower on and it just smells like a swamp? Gross. Uh. It just smells stagnant and disgusting. Ask Joel about it. Joel also fucking hates Orlando huh. water. I was, I was there in December. I don't, I don't remember that anything You're fucking in crazy. The water stinks so <laughs> goddamn yeah, well, that bad. Was, that was, what, four or five years ago when you were in Orlando? So maybe I fixed went, it. I went this past summer. Oh, really? Oh, that's right. You went to, yeah. You yeah. Fiji out. water, though. Top. Okay, <laughs> Top. so if we had, if we had five bottles of water like Ozarka, Evian, you know, Dasani, Fiji, and we laid them out and poured them into cups, mixed them up, you could you line them up? Probably not. No, but I could tell you Dasani from another brand, and I could tell you non-filtered. Let's have a water test. Well, that's week. exactly what I said. I said, can you tell them apart? I can tell you five <laughs> different brands. Okay, I, we could probably pick like which one I tastes probably, the best. Yeah. All right. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> See, other people are backing me up. About Orlando water, by the way. Oh, okay. I've yeah. had some pretty shitty tap water. And I, I have, see these horrible videos now with fracking where they use hydraulic water to, like, mine out natural gas. And then people are lighting their taps on fire. Their water is flammable yeah. coming no, out the, of their taps. the air in the water is flammable. Right. The well, air in the water is flammable. <laughs> you don't drink the air, though. You don't drink the air. Like, okay. when, you, when you turn on the tap, the air will come out. If there are disperse. bubbles in your glass of water, you will drink that, too. With, how often do you drink bubbles? They pop immediately. If you've got bubbles sitting in your water, you've got some weird water. They, you, you they, they might not rise. They could put, be bubbles yeah. that sink. But you've never... That would be freaky as shit. Well, not, you've never put a glass of water and had bubbles in the glass at all? Just, just chug it down. Still, you still have bubbles in there when you're swallowing. Yeah, you pour water and then it's bubbles, bubbles, pop, 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 pop. Smooth. Like, have you ever, have you ever poured a Guinness <laughs> into a glass? The Guinness bubble, is different! I'm just saying it's bubbles in a liquid. They go yeah. down sometimes. What are you talking about? You, you're, you're on a totally different topic now. I'm talking about bubbles in a bubbles liquid that go could down. go down. No, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, with him. I'm it's a saying, different density. I you have a glass. Pour I can... a glass of water and bubbles go down. <laughs> no, it's he's saying a different happened. kind of liquid. It's, it's, yeah, it's not necessarily air. Air would rise in water. But if it's like, say, nitrogen, it might drop and go down. And if down. that happened, I would see, freak out. See, I would, see, like, going like, if you pour a Guinness into a glass, the bubbles go down. Why are you drinking Guinness when we're drinking water? I'm just using a fucking example to prove why bubbles can go down. But nobody's <laughs> fracking with Guinness. <laughs> Maybe they should be. Hey, oh, Gus, oh, Gus, Gus is walking. What happens Gus is leaving the set. To, Gus is away. He's walked away from his chair. <laughs> Gus is going to go get a Guinness and just Break it over Gavin's hey, face. Yes. When you're drinking your own urine, <laughs> which way do the bubbles go? Why would you wow. use an example that has nothing to do with what we're talking about? That was incredible. I don't know if I've ever... Oh. Gus just pulled a jet. That was His awesome. His argument fell apart right in front of him. <laughs> How many podcasts have you ever okay. walked away from your oh, mic? God, I got hiccups. Okay. Oh, that was it's so probably, funny. It's probably, probably all the air you swallowed while you were drinking water. It must be all like Guinness you've They've been They've sunk to the bottom of my lungs, all the bubbles. <laughs> Uh, I would be hard pressed to find a bubble that sinks in water. I just don't know what those uh, are. Probably a, a, a bubble from a, a component used in fracking, maybe. Water's, I mean, water's pretty fucking dense. Water's, water's by far the craziest substance on the planet, even though it's so plentiful and we deal with it all the time. It's fucking, it, it itself is a compound. Magnesium. It's nuts. Pretty crazy. But water doesn't act like anything else. Like, the adhesive properties of water. Also the fact that it floats in itself. When, when it's a solid. It's a solid. Yeah, that's a really unique property that is thought to be one of the things that help contribute to the formation of life on Earth. What about well, lava? everything would die if not. Right. Because then we'd have ice that would sink What about lava? lava? Is that really what you just said? We're talking about fucking water, dude. <laughs> yeah, but does rocks float on lava? What about Guinness? Do <laughs> no, he said, does, does rocks float on what about lava? The great does Guinness rocks Springs float of Ireland? on lava? <laughs> does? Wow. Make that... Where's that shirt? Jesus Christ. Does rocks float on lava? <laughs> People like grapes. Does rocks float on lava? John, where are you? Start working on that. Does rocks? I'm going to throw up. <laughs> hey, hand me the, uh, hand me the, the opener. Yeah. My heart hurts. <laughs> <laughs> My heart hurts. Yeah, I was going to die. I want to. You broke us. Uh, I got a drink uh, now. Uh, Drag me to okay. drink. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was bad. Um, um, no, uh, mm. wouldn't lava melt rocks? Because... Lava's molten rock, right? Yes, yeah. it does. Uh, the, well, the, the top surface is always being cooled by the air. Right, but a rock would sink and, and then melt. No, I think it floats. The top hardens, but the underside is uh, no, liquid. Uh, there's, there, I, as far as there I is know, no top. It's the, all liquid, the, yeah. the only compound that is more dense as a liquid than it is as a solid is water. That's I the only one that. I know that's like that. 
I believe. I mean, there, there are there's there's liquids that are really dense that are denser than some solids, but we're talking about and rock is like a mixture of a lot of stuff. But it's like the thing itself when it's in its liquid form is more dense than its solid form. That's a very very rare thing. So I I have liquid nitrogen Go and ahead. a lump of nitrogen. The lump would sink. The lump would sink. Okay. <clears throat> If you have a molten steel and a ball of steel, the steel, it's just, accept, you accept that's going to sink, right? In molten steel. It's like, ever, it's like Terminator 2. He goes right in. <laughs> have you ever seen those, those experiments where they put, like, is it like corn, uh, cornstarch or something in water? Yeah. And then, like, the, the surface tension, if you hit it hard enough, it'll, like, get, become solid. Mm-hmm. So you can run across the water back and forth. Yeah. yeah. And then it's if the you same, stop, uh, you just slowly sink you down. You can pour it as a liquid onto a speaker that's playing Yeah. Music. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah you did the slow guys for that, Yeah, I you? filmed that slow yeah, cool. Not for slow guys, but I have filmed that before. Oh, okay. It was in a Chemical Brothers it is music a video. a non-Newtonian fluid. Okay. Look at you. I you can also make it. Uh, he doesn't even have it on his laptop. You I don't pull that out of his head. I've I have a picture of It can <laughs> stop <laughs> bullets too, can't it? What's that? It stop bullets as well. Yes, yeah, so they use using ballistic vests, so it's like so it'll stay like fluid, essentially flexible. But then when something strikes it, uh, I don't know how it works. What exactly, was that material but. that they had? There was like two or three years ago where someone like dropped an egg from a stadium and it hit like a little thing about an inch thick. Oh, that was Guinness. And stopped. <laughs> <laughs> And like, it, no, it stopped, but it like the egg didn't break. It was something like that, where it was like this. That sounds like bullshit. I, I'm sure it was. A but stadium, somebody got on top of a stadium, dropped an egg, and it didn't break. Well, it's like, you know, like a high school football stadium, like a good maybe <laughs> 50 foot drop. Oh, yeah, but I'm, I'm yeah, not talking about stadium. Talking. No, I, I'm with. I'm with Jack. Guys, you and me today. Yeah, we're on. Fucking, we're on. I, I know what he's talking Thanks, about. Man. So what's the thing that he's talking about? I don't know, but I understand <laughs> to make a difference between yeah, a no. fucking high school stadium and a pro stadium. Yeah. All right, fair point. <laughs> Here, let me read this thing. All right. Uh, I want to remind everyone that this episode of the Rich Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Pro Flowers. You can get 100 blooms of love with a free glass vase for just $19.99 or upgrade and add gourmet chocolates and a teddy bear for just $9.99 more. Just use promo code TEETH. That's 100 gorgeous and colorful blooms, huge bouquet. Pro Flowers are guaranteed to last seven days of your money back. It's a no-brainer. Uh, so if you want to redeem the offer, just go to proflowers.com, click on the blue microphone in the top right-hand corner, and type TEETH. That's T-E-E-T-H. Uh, again, that's proflowers.com. Click on the microphone at the top right and type teeth. I think I mentioned this last week. They have specifically told me that you, our listeners, are the worst in the world at clicking the microphone. Yeah. They said you end up spending more money if you don't click on the microphone because you don't see the deal. Click on the microphone and use promo code teeth. Uh, love Pro Flowers. Been using the service for years. Uh, like, like I talked about earlier, I grew up in the middle of nowhere. It's the only fucking service that will deliver flowers to my mother and not totally fuck it up. I'm looking for this microphone right now. What's her address? I'll send this some. Upper right corner. Hey, what's up? What's up? Upper right corner. Microphone. Got it. I see it. Big ass microphone. I like, I like your style of sponsoring. It's like, support us. Support our product. Jeez. You're stupid. Yeah, you, <laughs> you're just you're like, Valentine's Day's coming up. You're, you're going to have to, you're probably going to have to buy flowers for someone. Do it now. Pause the podcast. Go to <laughs> proflowers.com. Just get it over with. Open a new window. Where the hell can you buy a dozen red roses for $34 on, for Valentine's Day? How is that even possible? Fucking do it. Proflowers.com. Yeah. All right. That is like, I mean, that's buy <laughs> flowers, do something that's nice. Good. All right, I would um, go broke all the time when I girlfriends buying roses on Valentine's Day. Thirty-four bucks. I don't think I've ever done that. Really? Flowers on Valentine's Day. It was shocking, <laughs> Gavin. That's, I'm shocked by that. I, I cannot believe you, that. You're in a long distance relationship. You could get on right now and buy some flowers. You want me yeah. to hear? Want me enter in some information for you? I just got. I got a girlfriend's address. <laughs> it's over here. I just got a tweet from my wife that says hint hint. So, <laughs> <laughs> think, all right, do it. All right, Katie. Um. Yeah, absolutely. Great deal. Good time. Why would I why would I not want a vase? If I can get a vase, oh the vases are extra. No. I get a free vase or no vase. I want a free vase. Uh, well maybe, right. you, don't, maybe free you, vase. you already have one. Maybe What's maybe that? you have a plethora but of vases. A free yeah, vase. You, you can never have too many vases. It's like it's the ultimate guy saying, You already have a vase. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it was it Lane Boozler? She had the great line which is like, only a man would utter the phrase, but I already have a pair of black pants and totally mean it. And then it's like all the ladies laugh. She goes, guys don't even get this joke. <laughs> they don't even understand it. What, what do you have two of? I actually have two pairs of black pants. Do you really? Yeah. Nice. I probably have two, two pairs of khakis now. I'm doing this. I have. Yeah, like buying clothes. Is a, jeans, buying though. clothes is a weird thing for me. I've been buying the same kind of black slacks, I think, for 15 years. They're the kind I used to have to wear to work. Yeah, I just like, whenever they get old, I just throw them away and get the exact same one again. <laughs> Dude, Dude, I, guess, I don't think no, you have to no, fold them. Normal, in, normally, to like I buy the backyard. exact same shoes all the time, except they were out of stock, so I'm wearing some other shoes. Uh, you know those black, black pumas? I always wear those everywhere. Like I, I find what works, and I just I've just stick realized with something. What's the most important item of clothing, Judy? You have to get right. 
shoes. Pants. You it's pants? Pants. We know Gavin's not pants. Gavin's pants are ridiculous right now. They shrunk. He's got capris I, on. I washed them too hot. They don't fit his me His pants don't go up past halfway up his ass, and it's because they shrunk. They it's did. Like, that's, they're, they're too big if they've the, fallen off. They're the same size, like 30-30, as my other jeans. 30-30? You're 30-inch? You get 30-inch legs on your pants? You're too tall for that. Dude. No, my other jeans, they totally go down to my shoe. If your pants are on your, like, your ass. Yeah. Gavin's wearing his pants halfway down his ass because his legs are well, too Well, not short. anymore. Yeah. You right, his, the so legs on his pants are so too short. Pants what's, what's your most important piece of clothing? Belt. Like, if really? I get a good belt, I'll, I, that's like the greatest thing in, in my life. And I don't have a good belt right now. Hmm. I'm very I'm disappointed in my belt. I'm gonna get a, I had a good belt a while ago, and then I lost some weight, and the belt doesn't fit anymore. First world problem. You're just fucking leather, man. Punch some holes in that shit. Yeah, but then it's like you're halfway around again. <laughs> it's like you're just showing You then use the, the fucking scissors. <laughs> cut, cut that shit down. <laughs> get a leather punch. But uh, yeah, so I got, I'm, I'm trying to find another belt that I like. Stuff. Stuff. I yeah. have never seen you wear jeans. I hate jeans. I fucking hate jeans. Do you own any jeans? jeans? No. Really? No, seen... I own one pair of jeans that I bought at a thrift store for like $3 because I thought if I'm ever doing anything like mowing my yard, I would rather have a pair of jeans the, yeah, to do that, that makes in. sense. And that, that's the only think, reason I own that pair of blue jeans. I think I've seen you wear shorts once or twice. I, I wear shorts, shorts in the summer. You yeah. wear shorts all the time. Yeah. Mm. So, Pro Flowers is so orientated, now I would say oriented, towards guys, that when you go to order roses, it says, what date do you want these delivered? And then right below the date field, it says, Valentine's Day is 214. It's like, <laughs> like it even has to remind you of that. Like, yeah. the guys won't even know what fucking day Valentine's Day is. I love it. They're so, yeah, like, did it have Mother's Day on there as well? Well, no, I just, I'm in February. Well, so. Yeah, this is the one coming up. Oh, yeah, when yeah, Mother's yeah. Day rolls around, it does. Oh, it they, does? Yeah. That's I, awesome. Like I said, I talked with them recently, and they talked about, like, the whole <clears throat> process of getting ready and prepping logistically for Valentine's Day, and it's fucking crazy. Like, having to deal with, if you think about it, like, these flowers are grown all over the world, shipping them in, and then routing them, you know, to the appropriate place and getting them there on time. It's it's just crazy the amount of shipping you would have Fuck, to coordinate to do that. deal is a good deal. Why are we sharing this with people? Why don't we just keep, keep it, it on the ourselves? download? Don't tell anyone. Keep it ourselves. We could cut it in half and just offer you half the discount and then like and process the all the orders it, yeah. ourselves. We can we, totally we do that. Uh, we can start a garden in here. A little greenhouse going. No, I'm saying we just go to the website and fill it out. And oh, keep the okay. Let's do it. Oh, someone just, who is that? Steel Nation STL just said, Rooster Teeth Belt, make that. Hey, uh, there you go. We are, well, we did have a merchandise meeting the other day and I, I asked for Rooster socks. The, that the, was the big the, thing. The other day, uh, for me at least. They, I was sitting at my desk, I had my headphones on. And Emily, who's our store manager, was like waving at me. So I took my headphones off. She's like, come take a look at these mugs. And she had like, laid out three mugs in front of me. And I was like, shit, shit, this one's good. <laughs> She's like, what? What's wrong with those? I was like, handle's too small. This one's a funny shape. This one's the only decent one. Okay, so we're, she, we're doing more mugs? I guess. And That's she was, good. And she was like, oh. The handle of a mug. This was going to be this mug. This was going to be that <laughs> mug. This was going to be this mug. I was like, well, go, don't, I was like, don't make those other two. Those are fucking terrible. <laughs> that, the handle of a mug is definitely the most important part. Right? Absolutely. Like, one of them I could only put two fingers in. I like it. I was solid. like, what am I doing with my other was fingers? It, like, this cup? is so fucking yeah. tiny. Was it on a little saucer? Yeah, I was like, what am I going to drink it like this? <laughs> <laughs> throwing gang We're not fancy though. enough for that. <laughs> 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 like a West Side Kings hey. drinking coffee. Well, no, that, that frees up the other two fingers to do something with. Diddle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're drinking coffee. We got that. We got that uh, achieve shirt over there. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we the, get the King Ryan achieve shirt that comes out tomorrow. And, hey, uh, crash guess, zoom. Oh, oh, that was pretty hey, sweet. Oh, oh, it's on our new go. model. You can zoom out a little bit I to like show Gus. to show I'm, the. I'm upset Gus is inside there. Ooh. I like angry Gus yeah. picture right oh, next. Oh, we oh, we oh, put uh, Blaine's underwear on it. <laughs> Jack, if you move your head over to the crotch, your beard will be the pubes. Jesus Christ! Wow. Oh man, yeah. No, we got uh, the King Ryan shirt comes out tomorrow, or his Achieve shirt comes out tomorrow. And now I guess we just gotta get Jeff's, and that makes the, the complete also. Set. We gotta hurry up on Jeff's before the mustache goes away. Oh, also coming this Friday, King Ryan part two, part one. It's the second King Ryan. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does rocks float on lava? <laughs> no, but it's in two parts, and it's part one. Well, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. This, the, at first, it was King Ryan. This one's Mad King Ryan. The this, Mad King Ryan. There's definitely a difference. He's definitely lost the plot Dude, yeah. since his last reign. Yeah, there's, there's some good stuff in this one. Uh, he went mental with it. God it was the damn. first time that we... Uh, there were some really good challenges. We copied Achievement City and gave him his own version of Achievement City so he could do whatever he wanted in it. It's like Bizarro World. Boy, did he do stuff with it. <laughs> so I uh, look forward to that on Friday. Yeah, it was fun. I have to make it first. Yeah. Nice. I'm burning. I'm burning the first half of it right now. I'm Jack, you that. boned me with your footage. You I'm sorry. You dude. gave me I, half. I, I of forgot your it was footage. two parts. I forgot we like, we had to stop recording and then restart. And I burned just the second half. The the other day, uh, Jeff very worriedly came up to me and was like, "Hey, um, 
you can undelete stuff on a Mac, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, what? It's like, Michael just deleted a bunch of shit yeah. by accident. He deleted all of our GTA things to do. I was like, bring well, me the drive. I have to fucking run data recovery on it. No, you got it, though. You save our asses. Thank just, you very uh, much. Just disc- Yo, that so reminds it. me of something. Did you hear about what <clears throat> happened today with Ubisoft? Yeah, so weird. So Ubisoft either let the uh, trademark for Watch Dogs, all their Watch Dog properties, expire, <laughs> or according to the trademark office, they actively filed to abandon the trademark for Watch Jesus. Dogs. So you have to, you can't just wait for it to expire. You have to abandon it. I yeah. think it does expire eventually if you wait, but in this case, someone filed well, yeah, it. I, I, what, but in what situation would you <laughs> want to abandon a trademark? I don't know either. I don't know. Unless you're getting sued for having it. Unless someone commits genocide and happens to be the same name as your company or something. Yeah, H- Hitler Cola. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know, he's like, all right, guys, we're going to drop it. Get the get fuck away this from one this. one off the record. Isn't that what Fanta is? Hitler Cola? <laughs> like Nazi Coke or something. What? No, that's, I think... Uh, that's a horrible tagline. No, who's the... Uh, <laughs> it's, a, who's it's like the, Nazi Coke. Who's the famous fashion designer, though? Who every now and then they're like, somebody rediscovers the fact that he designed all the SS uniforms. Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss. Like, every, every few years, someone's like, hey, Hugo Boss, this famous fashion designer, designed all the Nazi uniforms. Did he really? Yeah. See, somebody's discovering it right <laughs> now. I didn't know that either. Yeah. Hugo yeah, Boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. High fashion. Jack <laughs> and I are strangely in sync tonight. I'm a little uncomfortable it's with that. a little that. strange. A little bit awkward. Uh, yeah. Hugo Boss SS uniforms. Look up Fanta and Nazis. <laughs> I, think, I think the last person who just said that Fanta, Fanta and Nazis. <laughs> you think someone's sitting at Google, like, just watching trends? Like, <laughs> why suddenly is Fanta and Nazis linked? What the? Like, Gavin, I'm going to disappoint you a little bit because uh, Snopes is the first article to come out. Uh, oh, there you go. Fanta, Fanta and the Nazis. The Reich stuff? The history <laughs> of stuff? <laughs> I've heard a number of times that Fanta was created by Coca-Cola in order to enable the company to sell soft drink to the Nazis, Nazis. during Nazis. World War II Hill, without scouts. having to worry about anyone seeing Hitler or uh, Goebbels with a Coke and a smile. Uh, bu- 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 I'll try to get to the, the... Yeah, get to the meat. Isn't there just a big button at the bottom that says false or, tr- you know... True? Yeah, there usually is. Where is that thing? It's at the top. Oh, right claim there. is false. Claim the is false. red thing says false. Yep, false. That is false. It's a big, long explanation. I don't think I can summarize ah, this thing. All right. So, yeah, apparently, this has happened a couple different times with a couple different brands. Which I won't read because we don't get sued. But uh, yeah, apparently this thing, uh, there was an update that Ubisoft said that someone falsely filed that abandonment claim. So some troll basically filed a patent, like trying to disable their trademark for That's them. That's nuts, How dude. bored do you fucking have to be to do something like that? <laughs> I, how, I mean, how And also you- like you have to understand about the trademark filing process and application process. It's like, oh, I'm going to pull form 99G and you know, <laughs> release this trademark application. That's, and why Watch Dogs? I mean, yeah, why, why not Candy it? Crush? Yeah, there you go. Why not go after somebody who's like... Who's a fucking dick about it. A little bit. Candy Alleg- Crush Allegedly. Saga. I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> Allegedly. Well, dude, Jeff is like... <laughs> this week of the podcast brought to you by Candy <laughs> Crush Saga. <laughs> yeah, they're in a uh, suit and mood. It's not. Jeff got huge into Candy Crush. I don't know what happened, but he's suddenly into Candy Crush now. Has he, he found his testicles yet? Game, huh? Has he found his testicles yet? I don't think yet? so. They, just delete that game. Come on. Well, it's bejeweled, right? Bejeweled, right. That's all it is. But I've been playing know. that dumb, stupid Flappy Bird game. No, well, Flappy Bird is just like WarioWare. Like, yeah, what is Flappy Bird? It's remember, like, remember WarioWare on the Game Boy Advance? Yeah. It's like five second games. It's like super mini games. That's what. That's all it is. Really? What are you it's about? It's, what? The, it's like the helicopter game except with a bird. Oh, what am I thinking of? Flappy Bird is the one where you have to. You remember the helicopter game where you have to like tap it and your helicopter goes up and you let go and it goes down. Yeah, yeah. It's kind tiny of like, wings. No, 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 tiny no, wings? no, no. It's not tiny wings. It's tiny wings. Like, you only die. Except it's kind of like that. Except you don't hold it down. You just tap it and he jumps a set distance every time. So you have to like. What the fuck am I thinking about? There's a game like Jetpack something, like Action Jetpack or something similar to that. Jetpack Jack? Uh, that's Yeah, that's what it is. Jetpack Jack. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm someone just tweeted, I thought Snopes itself was fake, or so I've heard. Snopes is fake. Boo. Yeah, because they're trying to provide misinformation. <laughs> I don't have it here. Yeah, I've never played Flappy Bird. I see people talking about oh, it all stupid. the time now. It's dumb. It's, I've got, my high school is 30. So you tap like all day. a button and you make a thing fly? You, yeah, the bird has to jump through like Mario pipes. That's it? In between, like, there's pipe on the bottom, pipe on the top. Is it a free game? Or would you pay for it? Yeah, it's free as knobs. Huh. Knobs are pretty free. Good, it's good. It's, it's like a... It's a good kind of poo oh, game. Really, Bernie, you're thinking of Didn't they totally to steal? Aren't, aren't those... <laughs> wasn't that a Mario asset? Yeah, no, seriously, is it? It's like Mario with a bird in it. What was that? I have no idea what this what video is. <laughs> <laughs> we, we apparently we didn't see... <laughs> uh, oh, so we cut to it after the, the gameplay hell? portion. So yeah. you're, you're... Something dumb, dumb ways to die is what you're talking about, Bernie. Really? Yeah. That's funny because the whole reason I know about this, and I'm almost embarrassed to admit this, is I was watching a PewDiePie video 
that is Why? Flappy Bird. Because PewDiePie is the number one YouTuber in the world, and the rankings just came out, so I decided to watch some PewDiePie videos. Gavin is a huge fan of PewDiePie. A huge just fan. Put that on record. Gavin. You look like PewDiePie, by the way. A little bit. I don't know. <laughs> you take that back. No. <laughs> Are you a little PewDie cutie. You, you, you <laughs> <laughs> what was it uh, when JJ referred to PewDiePie in a rap recap? He had a really funny name for him. He goes, PewDiePie Poobs Pewdie or Poobs. whatever. Yeah. He goes, you YouTube kids watching your PewDiePie or whatever. But uh, yeah, the rankings just came out. PewDiePie was, of course, number one. That guy's fucking insane with Shocking. views. Yeah, but um, it's because it, he's the default subscription. Well, yeah, yeah. When, no, whenever, yeah, that no. wasn't. He wasn't. He didn't start as the default description. No, no, he, he is, is now. now. Yeah, it's like a snowball thing. So now, when you go like when you sign up for YouTube, it's like here's some people you should subscribe to. That, that's like, an ever changing selection. But is yes, it? yes. But he has weighted him more heavily than other people yeah. for sure. I, th- I thought it's bullshit that YouTube is like the number one channel on there. They are. Yeah. Yeah, YouTube's the number one channel. Well, that's where Gavin was. Like Gavin was on that. The hey, dude, they started. The YouTube started producing their own shows now. They make that YouTube Nation, which is a selection of the most viral clips from YouTube across the week or whatever. Isn't that that's, what's trending? That's no. So that's the every show, show. The show they make. The show they show. make that's good and popular is just clips of other people's shows. Pretty much. Wait, is what is that's the first part? Is of what's I mean, trending? Hey, owned guess by who YouTube? they partnered with to make that show? Who? DreamWorks. Are you fucking shitting me? They need what? YouTube needs DreamWorks to help them make that show. <laughs> yeah. The only good thing about it is that it's basically the team behind Epic Foo, which is one of the original groups that was ever producing anything online. It's uh, Zadi and Steve Wolf. So uh, that's a good thing about it. But come on. I mean, you don't need fucking DreamWorks to partner with YouTube to make that show. Yeah. Well, you've got, you've got content creators there on your network. Just pull one of when them. When does DreamWorks come in? Do they... I what do they do? I know. I have no idea. I'll, I'll read the announcement about it. See if you can make sense of this thing. But yeah, so that tube filter thing, we were number 11 for last year overall in views, right? Number 11, yeah, but that's if you put in all the music stuff. Like, yeah. Psy was still last year. That one, that song he's got was just still... People were still watching it. It got like, uh, what, a billion views last year or something yeah. like that. Like, 1.3. But if you take out all the music stuff, we were number four. That's cool. So it's PewDiePie... Um, uh, Sky does Minecraft. Smosh was up there. Nope, they were below us. Yeah, were. Uh, uh, Disney Collector, who I think is just a chick who you don't ever see her, maybe see her face, I don't know, but she just takes out Disney figurines and describes them in detail and then puts them away. My, People fucking love that dude, shit. Dude, my, my cousin was telling me he's got, a, he's got a son and that's all they do is they just watch that stuff. Yeah. Like they watch it, like they'll open toys and stuff and he just loves it. And uh, yeah, but yeah, that's kind of cool. I mean, we, we, so we had over a billion views. And there were only 11 channels with a billion views last year, and we were one of them. That's pretty cool. It's pretty badass, man. And yeah. I mean, stuff, especially when we, like, we're like peppered in there with like Miley Cyrus and Justin Bieber. It's, it's cool. It's, it's, yeah. You should be really proud. I mean, it's, it's really cool. Just like Justin Bieber. I want to be biting a stripper's nipples in a recording booth. Where can I sign up for that? <laughs> now, listen, I get fucking called out for Justin Bieber. I, I didn't watch a single Justin Bieber video last year. Somebody's fucking watching these videos. Somebody's making them popular. I didn't so. know any Justin Bieber songs. Yes, I don't do. know either. The only yes, I know is that baby, baby, yeah, baby. I was gonna say baby is a song. That's all I know. Everyone always says that to me. You've heard baby, and then they say baby, baby, baby. I've never heard that. <laughs> what song is that? <laughs> I, I specifically had to go out and listen to a One Direction song. I was like, I because I, because Ben, know, let's, let's call it let's see, it's Ben. Ben was talking about One Direction all the time, so I thought I gotta listen to One Direction. I gotta hear what these guys are about. And I knew the song. I just didn't know that was a One Direction song. Yeah. So hey, Monty. Yeah. yeah. No, you you know a Justin Bieber song. Pizza's over here. And so the other yeah. thing too is you, if you consume media, you've heard it. So. I don't really. Know. You know, and say what you want to about Justin Bieber. At least Justin Bieber came from YouTube. He's a he's a YouTube yeah. person. Usher found him on YouTube. Yeah, but he was on YouTube. Usher found him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. but he sort of took him under his wing and kind of. Do you think him. we'll find him dead with a needle in his arm one day? I hope not. I hope not. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Did you see? So the, oh, uh, that wasn't what I was asking. But <laughs> the, the, the petition to get Bieber uh, uh, kicked out of the country hit like one hundred ten thousand signatures on WhiteHouse.gov. Oh my God. So apparently, apparently, if a petition hits a hundred thousand signatures, the White House will respond to it. Yeah, but surely they could just be like, no, "That's stupid." That's that's pretty much what they'll do. They'll probably release a two sentence thing like, "No, we are not responsible for this." Bye. And they had the same thing with Piers Morgan when he was anti gun and everyone was signing stuff like, yeah. "Get rid of him." And White House just like, "Shut up." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like, "All right, we get you." Isn't there a rule that on White House uh, on the website, if a petition gets fifty thousand signatures? That the White House says they will officially comment on it. That's that's one hundred thousand. Yeah, 100, 000. it was twenty thousand and then fifty. Now it's a hundred thousand because okay. people were, they were hitting it so often. So now they'll, they'll but they they will come out and comment on it in some fashion. But yeah, I I, don't, I really don't care about the whole Justin Bieber thing. I well, guess you know it's shitty that he was driving drunk. I feel like he yeah, should suffer driving drunk and he like, should suffer hit. repercussions for that. But uh, uh, all the other music bullshit, I don't care about. But that. it's one of those things, like, see, like I, you know, I look at, you know, like my wife is from Australia. If she got pulled over for, you know, driving 140 miles an hour while drunk, 
her ass would be out of the country immediately. First, you'd get a big fucking high five from me. But yeah, <laughs> that'd be <laughs> badass. In, in, in up on the to one forty. He blew. Awesome. He blew under a point oh eight. But Did, he is under twenty one. Yeah. So he blew above the. The l- yeah, limit for zero. someone under 21 to blow. Well, zero is the limit for I think. It, 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 I think oh, it's po- shut the fuck up, everybody. Like, I would have, I would, every weekend when I was between 18 and 21, I would have blown a point oh eight. I mean, well, I mean everybody I, drinks under That doesn't age. make it legal. I mean, no, not, that's not true. I didn't start drinking until I turned 21. My, my first sip of beer was after <laughs> really? I turned 21. Really? I'm what dead were you serious doing? on that. I just, well, I wasn't into that? that. That was my thing. He was this young man dreaming of a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so He's formulating I mean, his plans. Putting the the chia pet you stuff. You never the seeds drank a drop before you were twenty one. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which That's obviously mental. kids obviously you should follow Jack's example. No, I'm, mine, I'm dead serious. Yeah. Really? I, I never got into it. I was just saying, all right, like yeah. it's not into drinking. Wow. For me, so. I grew up on the border, so it's like you, just, it, you couldn't drink in the U.S., but you literally just walked a hundred feet and you could drink. The there. weird yeah. cloudy water was alcohol. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> drinking water was terrible. You had to drink beer, otherwise you'd die. <laughs> I went over there with you. We we ate at some of your old uh, haunts and the, drank One there. of those places doesn't exist anymore. I took you to the restaurant where the nacho was invented, remember? Yeah, you did. That that restaurant is closed. Yeah, that fucking nacho The nacho was off. invented? The nacho was invented in the town across the border from where I now, grew up. how many wow. places in Mexico do you think claim they invented the nacho? You, yeah. This Pretty, place is credited, what's, according what's to Nachos International, <laughs> as having been the place... <laughs> To, uh, <laughs> have the nachos. nachos International. Did you know that do, they, do they have a, a lead innovator at Nachos International? Is one of, a nacho is one of the only foods where the solid form will float on the liquid form of the nacho. It's true. <laughs> it's give, just like water. And don't, it's give ma- it's <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't give him that. Don't give him that one. If I'm getting shit for Guinness, you're not getting a laugh out of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Disney Collector, I'm looking at a couple of videos here, and it's just people showing toys, Disney yeah. toys, and Barbie toys and stuff, and just like... I guess it's not Barbie. It's like Disney princess stuff. No, my my, uh, my my cousin he works with like X Games and stuff, and he made friends with the guys at Mattel because they did the uh, the loop de loop at the X Games like last year, the year before. They oh really? Yeah, they had that's that, cool. The double loop thing. So he made friends with these guys, and they were saying they put all this money into this thing that they were hoping would hit you know YouTube and people would be watching it over and over. But like you know that day, the number one Mattel video was some guy just opening like race cars. And it's like they have this thing with this, they real cars doing like a double backflip thing. And it's like, but one guy is opening. Yeah, like, oh, I, I, that thing. sounds awesome. I've never heard of that. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. They, they made it like a life size. Like they had the actual like little mini go kart sh- or the mini race car thing. Yeah, and then they had a real one, and so it was like Travis Pastrana or no, it was uh, Tanner Faust and somebody else. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's pretty. Isn't cool. the X Games coming to Austin in June? Here, yeah. Damn, that's gonna be cool. Then they've got apparently Kanye West is playing and uh, Flaming Lips, and they got some bands coming with it. To be a, a a busy week, a busy summer for Austin with the X Games eh, and X-Games. RTX. Yeah. Hey. I mean, the, at the RTX, you can see games. Yes. So didn't you have R- a six-hour meeting? Fuck, I had games. a fucking six-hour meeting. What the fuck did he about talk about goddamn for RTX six 2014 hours. today? And I probably talked he had nonstop for about three of those six hours. Jesus. It was long. It was a lot of planning. You know, it's like I've talked about before. It's very, very specific planning. Speaking of which, tickets went on sale. Tickets right? went on sale this past so Friday. You can go to RTXEvent.com, buy like ten tickets. I like that thing that pops down from your profile saying, get your ticket. I think Ben made that. Nice one, Ben. Yeah, it was a really if good you, idea. So if you buy a ticket, does it, just, does it no longer say no, buy it's still there. It, oh, it's still it's, there? it's okay. easier just to have it there all the time. <laughs> uh, but ticket sales are going really well. Yeah. Really, really fast. I'm, uh, you seem, I'm, I'm happy about it. You hear that? You hear that? We're almost sold out. You should buy your ticket now. We're not almost sold out. No, they're going so fast, close to though, selling dude. out. You need to buy your ticket immediately. <laughs> they're, selling off, they're selling even faster than last year. They're yeah, last really... year we sold out, I want to say in late May. I don't think we're going to make it. To nope. late May this year. Cool. At the rate we're going, we'll probably sell out, I want to say, late March, early April. Wow. So you still have you know several weeks until we hit there. But we're Selling we're out much soon. Easier. Buy your tickets now. RTXEvent.com. Thank you, Jack. I really appreciate that. I'm, I'm helping, man. Um, yeah, so, it, so it, was, it, was, it was a long meeting. Lots of, well, this is what we want to do. This is what the event's about. This is who's coming. This is what we've done in the years past. You know, let's build this. Let's build that. This is going to go there. This is going to go there. Is the gaming stage going to be bigger this year? We came up with a really crazy idea Uh-oh. today um, where we have to spec it out to see if it's even like possible. Uh, so maybe okay. if, if it's possible to build what we came up with. Cool. But we'll see. We, we threw out a lot of different ideas in some of the early meetings too. One of the ones I suggested was just combining the main panel room and the exhibition floor. Like just like packing everybody in there. Wow. Yeah. But just so like, have panels on the exhibition floor. Yeah, just always going so people don't feel like they have to leave the exhibition floor, you know? 
but it's just well, too I, much. I don't know. Like, it would I, just choke everything down. Yeah, I kind of like it too, where it's like you have separation there. It's like yeah. if I want to sit down and watch panels, I go up here. Well, well, you also run into audio issues. It's yeah. like, yeah. Who's, what are you going to be blasting this over, over here? Yeah. Oh. And then you can't control stuff as yeah. much. Yeah. A lot of times too, uh, you know, you know, we don't want, we don't want to do things though just because we've been to other conventions and that's the way they're traditionally done. You know, yeah. we want to be recognizable as a show, but at the same time, it's like. We want to do something different too, and something cool. Yeah. So I mean, every year we go back. It's it's a pain in the ass, but every year we go back and try to think, what can we do different that other shows have not done before? You know, let's not do things the same way over and over just because that's the way it's always been done. RTX underwater, <laughs> flood the convention center. Last year, I, uh, I I had an idea that I told uh, Freeman. You know, Freeman's our like event organizer. Yeah, they, yeah. they are the ones who build everything. I said. Instead of having aisles that cross at neat 90 degree angles like that, like X, you know, like that, I want everything turned diagonal so that <laughs> nothing in the show floor is straight and everything's at a weird angle. And they looked at me like I was fucking retarded. You're fucking retarded. That's crazy. <laughs> That's we right. didn't do it. We did not end up yeah. doing it. But I was like, why do we have to do it this way? I was like, let's just put everything at a weird angle. It's like, let's have like trapezoid uh, booths and let's just have weird shapes, like a big Tetris mishmash. And they're like, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> Guys, think about this. The guy who plans our conventions, if... Somebody put a map of a show floor in front of you and it was all trapezoids. You'd be like, this person's an idiot. You'd be yeah. like, just give me my Who's fucking rectangle. Dick? Can we get more cannons? T-shirt cannons? Food cannons? Food cannons. You know, like they do a... <laughs> to launch a pizza. Oh my god, that'd be great. <laughs> well, it was, I would they, like to launch like They fire people. like burritos and stuff. But sure. <clears throat> no, it's a good idea. I like it. Fire really? Nachos. Yeah. Fire burritos? Yeah, it was a f uh, fun, fun, fun fest. They were doing that. Yeah. I, uh, I, caught, I caught a snack to the... To the back of the head. <laughs> Tor Torchies made a cannon, and then some other taco place copied it, and there's a big feud over it. Really? I'll look this up. So you up. know what I'm talking about. The massive feud in Austin. I could see like launching like like marshmallows, like a giant marshmallow gun. That would just, oh, pretty sweet. Yeah, like blast out a whole bunch. It was like raining dude, people marshmallows go, on hey, people. When, when people know you're about to fire a t-shirt into a crowd, they go, dude, they get excited. No, it's, it's, like, it's like swag zombies. It's like if you, if you say free shirt, it's like, whoa. Yeah. It's like, it's just a... It, Cheap shirt, calm down. <laughs> oh. Then people get upset if they don't get it. And it's like, uh, relax. relax. That, that's why whenever I see people throwing stuff, I always, I'm like, no, 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 stop. We try to avoid right. that yeah, whenever possible. You know, at our booths, so at events we attend, at RTX, yeah. we, we really always try to avoid throwing free stuff out. Because invariably, like, a little kid's going to get stepped on. You know, there's people who, who are just going to get crushed and hurt in, in a situation Especially like that. Especially they fuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> I can take a kid. <laughs> Pizza it. Frisbees. Thank you, <laughs> Sarlu, for that suggestion. <laughs> Pizza up. Frisbees sounds fucking awesome. That is I can cool. see Hopefully they've... there's no dogs around fucking <laughs> jumping up and taking it. I can see they've queued up the uh, the video of the cannon. Oh, is that it? Yeah. yeah. There, so we've got a So uh, this is taco there's cannon. a big feud right here. Here's the taco cannon. <laughs> that looks like a wreck. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Breakfast. <laughs> Dude, anybody who throws something into a crowd of people at an event is an asshole, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. So there's actually a transmission event in Austin has a taco cannon. Oh yeah, Tor this is the this is Tor Torchy putting up the battle cry. So they tried to trademark the taco cannon, and Torchy's is saying, "No, we came up with this taco cannon with you guys." And now there's a big feud over who owns the taco cannon. <laughs> this is the shit people fight about: who owns the fucking taco cannon? What? Who owns the device that shoots away free tacos? <laughs> It's like this is a money losing device. We're going to change it. it slightly. We'll have a catapult or something. Or what? Uh, what are those like things that swing over like this? Trebuchet. Yeah. <laughs> you know about that being from England, right? Fucking England and France use that shit all the time. That was a bit before my time. Guys. That was a little bit before. That, your could, be, time. that could be the slow mo video you shoot this year. Was before my yeah. tacos at you. How did they drink <laughs> water back then? They didn't even have the fucking faucets in their house. That could be a trebuchet chef. Where did they get the hose from? Yeah, it was a really long hose that came back from the future. <laughs> Give them all water. Did you see the, uh, speaking of the future, did you see the GoPro footage from the Felix Baumgartner jump? Yeah, released, it's crazy. Holy shit. I didn't realize he was like shitting himself. He almost, he almost passed out apparently. Yeah, on the, on the video I saw, I don't know if I saw it yeah. cut that much, he's like jumps down, then it cuts to him landing. But on this GoPro footage, he's like going like, he starts whipping around he hits in circles. The atmosphere, yeah. And then it cuts into the, the speedo, and he's like 500 miles an hour, he's like, <laughs> yeah. like, I'm gonna pass out, and then at one point he goes, "I'm hauling ass." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that guy, that guy has some balls. Yeah, that's that's crazy. And I didn't realize the guy he was talking to was the guy that did it in the fifties or the sixties. Oh, 60s. was he? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. The guy that went nineteen and a half miles up, and then Felix did like twenty four miles up. Jeez. Yeah, but that guy did it like fifty years ago. Yeah, yeah, that shit's yeah. fucking crazy. I think he said that he was uh, like a hundred and. 160 pounds or something the guy weighed and he was wearing like 180 pounds worth of equipment on his body. <laughs> apparently uh felix didn't break the uh the longest free fall though 
Like he, he, he like he, no, 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 he no, no, not, like not distance, minutes. not distance. Nobody fell no. off the moon. No, <laughs> no so, like somehow, no. Some he pulled his chute earlier, so someone else jumped from a high thing, and he like pulled it later, so he actually had more free fall time. But well, he pulled so it ten thousand feet. That is fucking semantics. No, yeah. that's like, all that is. Though. Surely a terminal Kerbal velocity. space program doesn't count yeah. <laughs> for this example. <laughs> but a terminal velocity, the difference between four, ten thousand feet and five thousand feet, or wherever the other guy pulled the shoot. It was something like, sure, five, like, something second, like five it? seconds. It, it was nah, something crazy. I thought a second. You don't go that fast. Yeah, <laughs> I guess you're not falling at five thousand feet per second. <laughs> that'd be fast. It's like a mile, a mile a second. second. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that'd be fucking ridiculous. He was good. Would so you ever fast. skydive, Gus? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, my wife would never let me. Yeah. <laughs> That's, no way. I'm, I'm probably in the she same She doesn't let me go now. go-karting with you. Oh, oh, she's not. She's the one who doesn't let you go go-karting? Yeah. You're not going to get hurt in she's that. She's convinced if I go to that K1 place that I'm going to die. You're not going to die. How? Trust me. I, let's, let's, what if let's we strap, strap a first aid kit to Gus, the back Gus, you of walk car. out the door one day and you don't come back. How much does Esther's life change? Like, what? how bad does it get for The her? dogs are not with you. Hmm. I don't know. How quickly before she's married again? Two weeks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is depressing. <laughs> the dogs have a new daddy. <laughs> that, man, fucking my, one of my dogs turned five this week. No, you have a little birthday party. I'm gonna be out of town. I'm gonna miss my dog's birthday. <laughs> I feel awful. First world problems. Where are you going? Missing my dog's birthday. Uh, party. I'm gonna be at a convention, doing some some work stuff. Mm. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, mm. eating Thai food. <laughs> eating Thai I got food. cc'd on a I got cc'd on a uh, a message between Gus and somebody else at the company. And they were planning all the places. It they wasn't were... me. I know better. I know how fucking group messaging works. This other person was like, "When when we're out they of town, planned, we should go they eat this everywhere place. they were going to eat at the most expensive and restaurant." I didn't, the I, I didn't reply. And I'm like, "What the fuck is this?" And message? then the next day, he sent another one. So finally, I was like, "Hey, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Your fucking Bernie's on this chain." Can I can I guess who it was? I, I think I think you know who it was. I know yeah. who it was. I want to yep. say his name. Do it. It was Muhammad. It was <laughs> Alan Muhammad Abdeen. It, it was, was. Uh, yeah, it was Abdeen. Dude, Alan, Alan's awesome though. Alan, Alan's trying to line some stuff up for K one for us. So that's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I love Alan. He's, He's the kind of guy where I'll be like, yeah, I'm really thinking of uh, like buying this product. He's like, whoa, whoa, let me see what I can do. <laughs> yeah, He's my kind of guy. It's like we want to buy some GoPros for some stuff. He's like, no, no, we'll, we'll figure something out. It's like, all right, we won't that's now. Cool. Give it away. <laughs> but anyway, let me let me read this thing. Here. You should read that thing now. Uh, I want to remind everyone, this is Valentine's themed sponsor week we have, on the podcast. We have some music. I want to remind everyone that this episode of Receipt Podcast is also brought to you by Sherry's Berries. It's giant freshly dipped strawberries from Sherry's Berries starting at $19.99, over a 40% savings. Or double the berries for just $10 more. Just use code TEETH when you order. You can get berries dipped in white, milk, or dark chocolate. They're topped with chocolate chips, decorative swizzle, or nuts. You get 40% off from Sherry's Berries. It's enormous, romantic, fresh, juicy, mouth-watering strawberries. The only way to get this amazing Valentine's Day deal, giant freshly dipped strawberries starting at $19.99, or double the berries for just $10 more, visit berries.com. That's B-E-R-R-I-E-S.com. Click on the microphone in the top right corner and type teeth. Go to berries.com, click on the microphone and type in teeth. Order today. Berries, microphone, B-E-R-R-I-E-S.com. Can we put a microphone in the corner of our website? Promo teeth. code teeth. It's got the same, got the same microphone that uh, Pro Flowers does. All right. They, they work together. They do, apparently. Yeah. Uh, nice. Fucking those strawberries same are code. so huge, those so good. Those things are awesome. I was what? Have any this disappointed week, we? we didn't have any why, today. Why don't we have any? I, I, I don't know if we didn't get them. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say Kyle stole them, you son of a bitch. It was right, right before we started the podcast, I was like, oh, oh where are the berries? Do we get them? Oh. You're freaking out. Yeah. But there they are. There's a picture of them. The white chocolate are my favorite. Dude, they have mini cheesecakes <laughs> on this thing. Monty came back. You're, you're yeah. berries. There are no back. berries. There are no berries. What's up, yo? Sorry, Monty. Uh, yeah. Great, great product. Strawberries. So good. Flowers. Who doesn't like getting food? Buy some for Valentine's Day. Buy it for your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever. <laughs> They'll Kate, love it. Katie just tweeted me again, hint, hint. <laughs> so, <laughs> she's on the ball tonight. <laughs> so uh, check it out. Get it out of the way. You're Dude, they have, have chocolate-covered potato chips. Is that a real thing? Whoa. I haven't tried those yet. I saw them on hint, there. Hint, hint. Yeah, there you go, Katie. <laughs> there you go, Katie. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> that was awesome. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, the Barry's ad is vaguely sexual. <laughs> so I had Thank a, you, Twitter. I had a weird thought the other day. Really? And the other day? Does rock float on lava? No, that wasn't my thought. Does rocks. You know how there's like Guinness World Records for a bunch of dumb crap? I think, <laughs> genuinely... Well, you, what's no, what? Sorry, some, the idea of like, oh, the Guinness Book of World Records for a bunch of dumb crap <laughs> goes oh, yeah. to... It's the most, mostly stupid records. 
I think I'm the most photographed person on the planet. That is incorrect. Photographed in what way? Because By yourself? the camera that I use takes like 5,000 pictures every second. And I've spent a significant amount of time in front of that thing. I still think so, Obama's got you beat. But you don't save them. But it's taken them. It's like constantly taking pictures and overwriting them. Nah, some dude who sits in front of a security camera probably gets photographed constantly. Yeah, but security cameras are like three frames a second. Nah. If so I, not all some, some honestly, okay. I've spent hours and hours in front of a high speed. There'll be a doorman in New York City who works there for twenty years in front. No, nah, I hear what you're saying. No, I but a saying. good security camera does like fifteen frames a second no. compared to five thousand. Like it's a significant let me ask you mismatch. This yeah, but I. I so much faster. Argu- but are you, in your are you favor saying here, you're the person but... who's been photographed the most by that brand of camera? I'd say that's definite. Yeah? But I'm saying... I get what you're saying. I'm saying there have existed literally millions of pictures of me. Yes. Millions. But a lot like, of them look very similar. They're very similar. For what it's worth. Almost I, exactly For what it's worth, I would say someone like, like Obama or a, a head of state who has thousands of cameras pointed on him, video cameras, would equal your one yeah, camera. Yeah, what if like uh, the opening ceremony at the, at the Super Bowl? Yeah. 80,000 people taking pictures all simultaneously. And you've got, and you've got 30 constantly. cameras from different angles all filming the same person at the same time. Yeah. Fair. Sure, all right, yeah. well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit in For front of the years. camera. Yeah. Just when you sleep, turn it on <laughs> and point it at you so you can film yourself sleeping in slow motion. Also, there have been times where I've cranked it to like 90,000 frames a second. Well, you wanted like a postage size yeah. video? It may be a picture of like the bottom of my lip or something. But... Yeah, it's not real. I mean, is it really taking 90,000 frames? You don't know because... It it, yeah, it's you, a, you can go frame by frame and look at it. Like that. All right, well, look, I'm going to take a million a second here on mine. Someone who is I just it? beat you. There you go. Richtercom2720 just asked, what about hashtag Dan the man? Oh. He's up there, but uh, not as many as me. No, Gavin has more screen time. All right, we were uh, we were out on set <laughs> filming some stuff last week. Yeah, you and I we spent we spent Thursday and Friday. It was fun out there. We were doing, doing immersion. Stuff. Yeah, it was yeah, we, it we was did good. Some fun ones. Can, some, you, can you see the bruise on my knuckle there? There were uh, some long days. We're not gonna say where that came from. It came from somewhere there. Where did it come from? Uh, Which one is? Like one of the days we were outside and it was so <laughs> fucking cold. It wasn't that cold all day long. No, it wasn't cold. It was very chilly, and it was like, when you walked out there, totally fine. They were out there three or four hours, and it just, like, set in. It cool. just was like... And the, there was the wind was just, like, hitting you. You were wearing you, the, the lab rat suit, you were all, which is really warm. Yeah, he was all decked out, too. He had armor also, and stuff Also, I've on. done night shoots in winter in the UK. That was nothing what we did the other day. Oh, all right. right. On a film set, though, we can go next to the heater. There wasn't a heater. What was it? Where were you? I was in the woods. We did Sherlock. And they didn't give you any heaters or anything? It was a light. <laughs> <laughs> it was a light. An HMI? There was a 60-watt bulb there. We're talking about, you're talking about the movie, right? Yeah. All right. Also, uh, Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. Dude, yeah, it's Sherlock TV shows. Gary and I had a fun day today. Uh, so awesome. It's uh, We can't actually officially like talk about some of the stuff we saw, but uh, we Good went to go visit uh, Troublemaker Studios, Robert Rodriguez's studio in, uh, in Austin today. We got to spend some time there. Mm. So That's you, pretty cool. It was that, pretty cool. That sounds like you won, you won today. Six-hour well, yeah. meeting versus going to Robert yeah. Rodriguez. It was cool to we go into the... Cool uh, stuff. <laughs> yeah, we went into props. Sure. And we looked at props. That's cool. And Among other like, things. Yeah, every going, to, prop. going to prop warehouse is always neat. Yeah. It's kind of like, oh, I recognize that. Oh, I, I got to... That. Last time we went to New Zealand, um, uh, <coughs> I've been to the, we've been to the Hobbit set a couple times, which I'm t- we can totally talk about that, I think, at mm-hmm. this point. Yeah, because those movies are out. Um, like, uh, Gavin and I got to meet... Uh, Ian McKellen. So Ian, so oh, Ian, so Ian. That's pretty cool. He's a wizard. <laughs> is he a big <laughs> Rooster Teeth fan? <laughs> no, um, no. He's, no. Huge. he's a big Tucker fan. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's huge. Um, he's a rage, rage quit fan. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the last time I went down, they were it was the last three days they were shooting The Hobbit after they shot that movie for like, it was, was like it five hundred days? Yeah, seven hundred days in a row or something like that. It yeah. was. What? I think I think they were on day five hundred when Gavin and I went to visit. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, like Gavin and I were there. <laughs> there are lines for the movie that we will be able to say directly when they come up in the movie because they were just like one watching one person try to say this one line over and over again. And Gavin were like, no, <laughs> we were like mouthing <laughs> along with them. But uh, um, when I went down there, we got to go through Weta, and I got a like a, that was really a unique and really completely awesome experience to get to walk. Did you see the warthog? Weta. And stuff. No, the Warthog was not there. The Warthog, I think it was around the time of the Halo 4 launch, so it was up in Seattle or coming back from Seattle. Um, it was during PAX Australia, so it would have been October. Okay. Right? So There's something so awesome about being on a huge production. Like a, just a gigantic set. Like crazy. that Lord of the Rings thing was crazy. That was crazy. That, that was crazy. Can you like, say what set you saw? Or today? If, no, 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 no. At, at the, no, yeah, the... we saw the Dwarven Hall. 
Okay. Like the, if you saw the recent one, mm -hmm. we saw where Smaug basically lives. You know, that, the, the, how, how much of it, how much of that was actual set and how much of it was, green was screen? fucking enormous. Dude. Really? Because to me, that looked all green screen. That was green screen, but it was set. Yeah. As yeah. well. Did yeah, they was, actually build out the giant gold thing like, as well? We saw like claw marks <laughs> on walls and stuff. Oh, and yeah. Just, we like, basically saw the ruined version of that place. What is that place called? I don't know what the place yeah. it's, the, it's a dwarven hall is what it was. And it was, it was just what we saw was fucking badass. That's cool. And Sir Ian was very nice. He was. He was. There was this other, uh, People there that knew somebody there, I guess, and they were there, and they had a kid with them. And he walked up and he goes, he goes, where are you from? And she goes, all right, there was a little kid, boy or girl. She, the kid was like, Auckland. Auckland. He goes, Auckland. That's where the orcs are from. <laughs> and then, <laughs> that was it. He was out, and we were like, that's a fucking badass yeah, that dude kid, right his, there. His world was rocked. That kid oh, did definitely not all sleep the for two weeks. <laughs> all the adults, yeah, all the adults were definitely like, that was fucking badass. Yeah. yeah. Cool dude. So, did you see the, the, the tweets that... Uh, but they uh, shot that for so long that... Uh, the first time we went down, we got to go visit the set at the Shire, and it was me and Brandon for all the way back from the barbed wire fence story. Oh, man. We were we were the barbed wire fence was on our way to go visit the set at the Shire, which is out in central to Mata Mata, New Zealand. Uh, you can actually go tour that, like like they turned yeah. it into. I think you can stay. Hobbiton. I think you stay in those things, can't you? Can't you stay in like hotel room? I think the, I think there's only one or two that are actually built. People out are completely. saying on Twitter that the Dwarven Hall is called Erebor. I think that's where we were. I Mul think that's what it was. Multiple people are Wait, saying that. you didn't have your map of Middle Earth on you. I did not have it on me. But, uh, and plus I'm reading Game of Thrones, so all my proper names are like, my, that bank of memory is taken up now because there's so many fucking proper names. I get confused between Skyrim, Game of Thrones, and Fable as to like names of places. Like Jeff was saying River Run, and I was like, is that... Riverwood? No, Riverwood was Skyrim. They got to be so confused like back home in the UK. Like, well, is that where I live? <laughs> <laughs> River Run? Is I actually live, uh, Pick where I live in the UK is a tiny village called Brill, which is where Tolkien used to live, and that's what he, Bree in Lord of the Rings is based on Wait, Brill. You say Brill? Yeah. That's like the inn in fucking World of Warcraft, right? Or the, the town in World of Warcraft. Brill? It's is Underworld. That, is that just, si just outside of Undercity. Yeah, Undercity. Oh, yeah. It's like yeah. Brill. I've never played World of Warcraft. Yeah. I think I might get back into World of Warcraft. Go do it. I hate that game. No. Well, like, so, like, Katie's been playing video games now. She's been playing computer games, and I'm like, we should build a character in an MMO and just start I had, playing. You should do it. so much I'm fun playing World of Warcraft with my wife. Yeah. It was, it was really fun. Well, they have, they have a new expansion coming out in, like, three or four months, actually. I let her play the warrior, so she was the tank slash DPS, and I was just the healer, and I just let her, just like, her alive. like, yeah, I was like, just go, do whatever you want, I will keep you alive. That's cool. And we just, like, went everywhere. It's like, Did she you build was just pulling all the aggro, and I just heal her. Do you build characters together? Yeah, we both started, like, level one, and That's we cool. went, like, at the time, the cap was 70, so we went from one to 70 together. Yeah. But apparently, pretty soon, you can automatically bump your character up to level 90. Like, you hit a button and just auto, like, bump up to 90 to play in-game stuff. I'm sorry, the, ca the cap was 80 at the time. We went from 1 to 70. Yeah, because 85... How long did that take? 85 was uh, Cataclysm. Yeah. So... Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah we talked about that in uh, one of the more recent patches, about how if you pre-order the upcoming expansion, you get a free level 90 character, essentially. Yeah. That's you know what we should do? Neat. do what should we, we do, Gavin? Do you remember when we figured out, Gus, how, m how many hours you'd played <laughs> of WoW? Yeah. It was in a podcast about four years ago. Mm-hmm. Shoot it again? Uh, I haven't played that much since then. I really? Mean, ever since um, I played Cataclysm, but then yeah, even before Mr. Should we, should we, should we tell the big stopped. secret about Cataclysm? About the guild I was running? What's the big secret? I don't know. That, I guess at this point it probably doesn't matter that you were in the guild the whole time. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I would raid all the time. Yeah, Gus was raiding with us like constantly, and just he would be quiet on Ventrilo. And like I think I told one person, like I told the guy who was running our raids, that, like that's Gus, don't, don't bug him because he's not talking, he'll know what he's doing. And so you'd be chatting with people, but people just want to know it's you. Like, I didn't need to communicate. Like, I knew I had been playing so fucking yeah. much. Like, I knew my job. I knew exactly what I needed to do. So it's like, I could do my job and type everything I needed to do in chat at the same time. It was like, it wasn't a problem. Yeah. But it was kind of funny. Because it was like, yeah, we, we did a pretty good job of hiding it. Like, no one caught on. And he didn't, make, a, he didn't make any mistakes that meant you had to quickly not. sign oh, out. I did, not have to, I did not have to sign out and quit in embarrassment. We <laughs> talked about it on the patch last week, but I've been playing Minecraft with Ashley on the PCs. We actually play with the boys. We, we get four computers, like, just all going at once. You, you have play. four PCs. We have two laptops, uh, and then I have this, which I can play on this, and then I have we have a desktop PC. So, yeah. Um, Fair play. Yeah, because she has a laptop. I have two laptops because I have an editing laptop, and I have my writing, it's my writing laptop. It's supposed to use most of the time, and then a PC. How um, do you edit on that? Hmm? 
On a Mac Air? No. Uh, I edit every episode of the Slimmer guys in a MacBook Air. Do you really? Mm-hmm. I think he's remember. got one of the older ones. Yours has No, the... I got a fucking new one. Shut your really? fucking Never mind. Then, over then, why, then why are you scoffing at the question? newer than mine. What? You, oh, you broke your screen, right? Yeah, yeah you could screen. absolutely edit on that. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, anyway, I have, four, I have four PCs. It has SSD. It's really fun. Using, but, your, uh, using your Thunderbolt port? I have never fucking rage quit I got so much shit for more. buying a Thunderbolt Mac. All right, do you want to talk about that instead of talking about what I'm talking about, you yeah. motherfucker? Yeah, your, shit, your shit's boring. <laughs> what, 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 what did you get shit for the Thunderbolt port? You remember how much shit you gave me because I bought a fucking Thunderbolt Mac? You oh, fucking made fun of me. You bought like, it to get the fucking Thunderbolt. Y yeah. fucking email list. This is three years ago, and I'm still mad about it, by the way. Well, it's well, yeah. to be made fun of. I mean, no, he was just a, ahead of his time. Speaking of which, we're getting our what Mac Pros. It's fucking Thunderbolt. What That's how you could edit. You could edit on that thing with the fucking Thunderbolt That's port. That's what yeah. I use. I have, a, so fast, yeah. I have an 8 terabyte RAID with all my slow-mo footage on. That's what I edit on. It's perfect. No. So fucking fast. Probably yeah. not, though. Your daisy chain display. The downside is it was like seven. I use it for DisplayPort. Oh, great. I think so. Yeah, but it, it Thunderbolt goes through, so you can plug stuff into the display. Yeah, when are we getting our Mac Pros, Gus? Those Whenever February, the fuck. Right? Apple launched it in December. I don't know why we don't have it yet. No, I'm saying we uh, our order was supposed to come in this month, right? So we're supposed to get it. Yeah, at some if point. They're making them in February, this month they just end February. January. February. Should we just go to where they're making them again? It's in Austin. I know, it's right up the saying. road. Yeah, Let's go get them. That's what I said. Let's go I knock said. on the door. <laughs> Hello. They won't answer the door this week because Dell just laid off fifteen thousand people. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Dell went private, and now suddenly he laid off fifteen thousand people. Wow. What percentage of their workforce is that? I Do you know? know? I don't know. Two? It's 15,000 people. That's a shitload I mean, of people. Damn. Yeah. I'll look it up. I'm surprised. Is that it's funny. You look at that information. I went to Dell.com. Surprisingly not on the front page. <laughs> yeah, <it's just> surprisingly <laughs> not mentioned. Is that yeah. uh, worldwide? Like, a, I guess probably not at one place, right? Ooh, you want a Philip Seymour Hoffman update? 20 syringes and 50 bags found. Fuck. What? This is CNN.com. Police investigating the death of factor. Philip Seymour Hoffman have found close to 50 envelopes of what they believe is heroin in his Manhattan apartment. Number of used syringes, prescription drugs, and empty bags that authorities suspect were used to hold heroin. Also found in the apartment where Hoffman, 46, was found dead Sunday of an apparent drug overdose on the bathroom floor with a syringe in his left arm. Money isn't happiness, I guess. Money Jesus. isn't happiness. And I think the other thing, too, is like a guy who gets this level, this goes on a lot, I think, with, um, you see it a lot in rock stars. Uh, you see it a lot in uh, just generally, like, really, Philip Seymour Hoffman is... Upper, 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 upper echelon successful in mm-hmm. his field. And he might know other really famous actors, but really the people in his life, he's ach- achieved a level of success that no one around him can even relate to. And so what happens usually, like you look like Lindsay Lohan, like people just don't tell that person no. But then I think the other, the other fallout from that is like people don't watch out for a person like that. You know what I mean? They don't like... I don't think anyone would ever pull him aside and go, hey, is everything okay, man? Are you doing yeah. okay? Well, that's why I think Biba is toast. Because no one will no, tell I him. Th- I, like, think, I think he's, he's like, so public that he's not toast. I think people will stay on top of him. Because like, he's got handlers that are watching him at all times. Where were Hoffman. they when he was racing a car drunk? They were blocking the streets for him. <laughs> like, they were making so sure. So they're obviously not doing a good job. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, he's got people there, is what I'm saying. He could have choked on that stripper's tit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what he's talking about? He might, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he might have herpes now. We don't know. <laughs> um, no. Someone on Twitter was just saying, who is it? Red shirt titty. Say we should talk. Red shirt titty. Uh, <laughs> so talk about loadout. So we, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we, we put out that, uh, that trailer for the loadout launch trailer. Long time exhibitor at RTX as well. Yeah. yeah. They've been the there game's... the past two years, I believe. Yep. The game's fun. Our, our first two convention years. They yeah. Were they came here and uh, we filmed. Uh, yeah. That was that cool. Video the, the, way, the way that was shot was like basically they were like, I, I wasn't in that one, but it was just guys playing the game. And then Joel took clips from it and then, you know, compi- made a trailer out of that's it. That's the first like, time I've seen a trailer that was made from Let's Play, I think. Yeah. It's yeah, it pretty it neat. Was, uh, we, you know, we set up an environment here, like right next to the podcast set, actually. It was just off camera. You couldn't see it. And we just played the game for a couple hours. And <laughs> and uh, they just took the audio from us talking shit while we were playing, you know, and <laughs> cut it together with the gameplay. It seems like it's wild. It's dude. a really funny game. Like, yeah, just like, the way stuff works. If you had like a, a, like a 90 second or two minute Let's Play, that's, you know, what turned into the trailer. Yeah. I like that the... Uh, to heal yourself, you just you end up with a lot of syringes in your ass. It's <laughs> yeah. great. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's also like even the trailer we're talking about, it's so gory. Like you get your head blown off, or just yeah. like your brain and your eyes floating, and you're yeah. still fine. You're still yeah. running yeah, around. Yeah, you're running around. Your chest. Sometimes you get blown up, and your legs carry on running without a torso, and blood's just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, the 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 amount of customization in that game is crazy. Between like character customization and weapons, and you get your knob out as well. You get you do. It's in the trailer. Yeah. yeah. You can see it. Well, there's a, there's some hanging ball that, in the trailer. That was me. Oh, was <laughs> yeah. that, was, that, was my, that was my character. <laughs> nice. No, they had they had like a pixelated like pantsless character, right? 
I think. Um, like we, I didn't see that. I'm, I'm, it, it might be. Yeah. There's so many options. Yeah, it's crazy what you can do in that game. And it is a free-to-play game. It's at loadout.com. It's by Edge of Reality. And you can yeah. craft your own weapons yeah. to an extraordinary... Yeah, I, I'm memory. pretty sure it's on <laughs> Steam as well, I think. Yeah. I think you can get it for free on Steam. Man, free-to-play games... If it, I, it's hard to believe that there's so many amazing free-to-play games out there now. Even, I mean, like, Loadout, you got Smite, you got, like, all, like all League of Legends, even. It's like, these games that, you know, if I was a kid, that would be, you know, you spend 20 or $50 or whatever on a game, and you play that for six months... Now you get all these games for free. And it's like, all right, just play whatever I want. So. On Drunk Gamers, I organized a gaming contest where it was... Survivor was very popular when we were doing Drunk Gamers. And I did a Survivor, but with games. So all the challenges were games. So the first six rounds, they played team games against each other. Then we combined the tribes and went down to individual games. But in order for everyone to be able to play, I had to remember, Gus, I had to go out and find free versions of games right. with demos. And it was fucking hard to find 12 demo versions of games. We had to repeat a couple of them. We played a lot of Soldat. Soldat. And the, and the, uh, the, the, the Soldier of the Fortune. The demo for Soldier of Fortune. Soldier of Fortune. But the PlayStation and Battlefield. had tons of demos. What's that? How were we going to get them? What uh, did we do? Demo what? discs. Demo discs for the PlayStation. But we had, I mean, there are people, we didn't want to make it a pain in the ass for them. I hate uh, to say this, Gavin. It. This predated the PlayStation Network, too. Yeah, it's like we they would have had to go and physically get it. PlayStation, yeah, th these people were all over the place. We couldn't. We all we played were PC games. There was yeah. no Xbox Live back then. There had to be stuff to be downloaded. This was two thousand and one or two thousand. Right. So right. we did this. So yeah, someone tweeted, "Finish the mind." Yeah, I, I didn't realize you had to be playing against each other. I thought you could have done like solo ones. How would it be competition to play solo? I don't know. Could have. Then you would take a picture with a Polaroid camera of your screen send and it send it in. in. You get a patch from Activision. Yeah, mail in <laughs> your your your. Fucking photo. Someone, someone said, finish the Minecraft story. I guess we. I cut don't know. Just fucking cut it off. I don't even know what was yeah. it saying. I don't know what you were saying. Some either. bullshit about playing Minecraft with your kids. I don't know. You got four PCs in a room. Fucking angry. Something. You're so angry. Bolt. You're so angry. <laughs> what are you so angry about? You're mad because we said you're gonna die and your dog's gonna be fatherless. I'm still mad about Guinness. Oh, are you so really? Why are you so mad? Bubbles. Because you left. What was the thing you got up and left for? Guinness. Was it the Guinness thing? <laughs> yeah. All right. Now we know what your fucking <laughs> you touch weakness. point is. Do we have the ability to go back on the podcast and play moments from the current podcast? No, and we never we will. Don't according to Gus, mm. we could not do that. If we could play you no. walking off. That'd be tough. I think I was saying I rage quit now more on Minecraft than I have on like any game in recent memory. Because I when I, when I last stopped playing Minecraft, they didn't even have the XP system, which you use for enchanting. So they didn't even have enchanting. Uh, I can't remember what the last update. One I used point, to play with Gavin. One point eight was the update that was hunger bar and XP and all that. Stuff. I never had food. Yeah, you yeah. I to, I stopped at one point. I guess seven. Yeah, you didn't have to eat. But anyway, so now it's got XP. So now it's like when like I'm walking somewhere and a fucking creeper blows me up or just gets some random, like this fucking baby zombie. What the fuck is that thing? Yeah, the it little Verns. It comes at you. And Vern, he wanted to come on the po podcast. So we met Vern Troyer, Gavin and I down in Australia. <laughs> Huge sports fan, which is crazy. Big Michigan fan. Nice. Total tangent. Anyway, uh, so anyway, I've had more rage quit moments of just like, fuck, where I lose like 28 levels. I think the way they do a leveling and XP and permadeath or pseudo permadeath in Minecraft now is probably perfect. Yeah. Because you just level up and you can use it. If you get up to 30, you can use it for a really badass enchantment. And if you die, you just lose all your levels. You got to start over again. It's like, yeah. fuck yeah. me running. Yeah. And but a level goes fast enough to where you don't, you don't mind so much, you know. But it's still an investment. I like it. I know I'm going to get trapped too with this discussion is that Ashley was a huge EverQuest player. So EverQuest next when that comes out. You're in that one. I'm probably going to get sucked in. Yeah, Adam Baird keeps talking about that game nonstop. And Wildstar, well, EverQuest too. Next and Landmark and Wildstar, too. How does yeah. Adam Baird not own an Oculus Rift? How is that possible? I think it's just developer stuff right now. So it's not like, it's not really made for consumers yet. You don't really buy them. Yeah, but still, I mean, Adam yeah. Baird would be like all over the Google Glass isn't made for consumers yet, and you got one. Well, no, it's, they're testing it. Like, they're, I'm in the Explorer program. Oculus so. Rift is testing. I'm in the Explorer program. Okay, he's not a... Listen, guys. <laughs> no, it's cool. He's not in the developer program. He's in the Explorer's program. I'm okay. A, well, no, okay. All right. I'm, How does it you have Google Glass and you haven't turned into a total fucking smug prick yet? Because you I'm, never I'm impressed wear. by you. No, I've got them at the house now. They actually... So, when I was talking last week about the glasses. They haven't made the glasses frame for it yet. That night, they showed... They, like, released them. Like, right after the podcast. That was they, really funny. I came yeah. into work the next morning and it was, like, the headlight yeah. everywhere on every site. So, now I've got to... So, the frames are... It's $275 for the frames. Didn't you already spend, like, two grand on it? 1500 yeah. So... <laughs> it's bleeding edge technology. It's Just cool as shit, man. Just a GoPro to your glasses. It's way yeah, better. Yeah, that, that's much less. <laughs> All right. Boing. 
<laughs> or just wear a helmet and fucking put the mount on it. How badass would that be? Get a fucking Oculus Rift and a GoPro up here. <laughs> And then just have like a big wide angle view of your own field of vision. <laughs> there, there was a guy who did that. He's it's like, like Cyberman or something is what he's called. But he has. Yeah. He, like, uh, I'm uh, guessing that's no, the no, name no, he gave no, himself. Guys, don't, no. don't call me huge nerd. Call me Cyberman. No, no, no. There was a documentary. There's a documentary called Cyberman. That's Waste what I'm of Money Man. It was not nearly as good as like, Cyberman. It was something like he was streaming his vision. To a website or something like that. You actually go. I'm dead serious on this. I saw it in South by Ages the, the, the ago. Night Shyamalan twist. He's blind. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is someone. <laughs> there is someone who has a I'm camera. I'm gonna get up and walk off this fucking podcast. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna I look guess that Cyberman shit up. from the Explorers program look that sounds a lot up. better than Nerd Boy from Virgin Land. <laughs> 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 uh, we're killing Gus. Let me see how I find this thing. Can I ask you a question, Gus? You always read articles about a dude with Google Glass getting kicked out of like movies. You don't or, always or, you or read something like one. That. It happens all the time. It doesn't happen all the time. It happened once. I read about it every fucking time it happens. Started, uh, I would imagine like a, that when a person who has Google Glass gets kicked out of somewhere, it's the best day of their life. Absolutely. Like, they can't absolutely. wait to fucking go home and blog about how they got kicked out for wearing Google Glass. Well, sure, they wouldn't have to go ahead. The they movie's can... called Cyberman. It's a documentary film about Steve Mann. Like, look, look, look at it. That's, His it's last a name guy. Man? Steve it's, Mann? It's a, it's a guy who wears, like, glasses. Yeah. He looks blind! It's a, <laughs> I'm dead serious. It's he a does. guy who what, wears, what like, glasses. He's got a seeing eye Abo. He's a Vincent. <laughs> 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 no one's gonna get that joke. <laughs> He's the inventor of the eye tap. He gets led around by a Roomba. <laughs> so, anyway, it's a fascinating documentary. Uh, wait, 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 what's it about? A, blo a blind bloke with no. with computer vision. What is it? <laughs> he streams a camera. Gavin, you're, Gavin is the human paraphrase. Yeah, he's, he's, like, he's a superhero who fights computer viruses. Gavin just actually made up an '80s primetime show <laughs> <laughs> right there on the fly. I don't know where you can watch it, but if you can find it, you should, you should look at it. <laughs> oh my God. Cyberman. So anyway. Your Google Glass, you've yes. never used it. I guess I have used it. For what? You, we I went literally, go just, I literally just released videos we've, when it was freezing. We've all, in Jack's defense, we have all spent money on technology for something we thought was going to be really cool. It's not. Something we thought was going to be really cool and then didn't use. We all have something like Mini that. Mini disc player. HD DVD player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had a, I had a, I, I think I spent $900 on a, 4x CD-ROM drive oh, yeah. for oh, my fuck. computer, and it didn't. And in like a year, there was 32x. Yeah, like remember everywhere. back then, you'd spend so much money on a Plex store. It was a Plex store. Uh, CD burner that burned. That's what you're talking about. The 4x burner. I it's didn't like, have a, no. I mine was a burner. Mine oh, was a reader man. that I had to have a caddy for. What does the so, times mean on a like, reader? Uh, I think like a standard read was like 150 kilobytes a second. I think so you're four right. times was 600 kilobytes a second. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and it was like, you, you would pay so much money to get like a four, like the two or the four right. or the eight is like, yeah. oh, now when I burn a CD, it's gonna take half the time. It's gonna be so fucking fast. Instead of taking 72 minutes to burn the CD, it's gonna take me 18. Yeah. I'm gonna save all this time. I and I can play seventh guest at full 320 by 200 resolution. <laughs> that game was scary. Yeah. I think my first CD burner was a 2X burner that was external. I had a parallel drive. Or like it was like a parallel cable. Oh, I God. Connected. It was so Parallel slow. can't even move that data, data that fast. It was I would, so I would, bad. I, when I shot my first movie, I would have killed myself for your 8 terabyte. Uh, yeah, my 8 terabyte Thunderbolt drive for Thunderbolt 700 drive. I would have gone crazy for We that. worked with a guy back in the day talking about old technology when you know those burners existed. We worked with a guy who bought one of the first digital cameras that came out. And it took AA batteries. And the way you got photos off of the camera was you hooked it up via serial cable to your computer to pull all the data off. The batteries, they get drained batteries so fast that if you put fresh batteries in it and the camera was full, the batteries would die before you could copy all of the photos off of the camera. <laughs> Good lord. Plug it in. Yeah. Yeah, That's it was nuts. fucking terrible. A serial cable. Yeah, and it was. Like, I think it was like 0. 0.3 megapixels. Yeah, it, it was so. 640 by 480. I think yeah. so. VGA. The resolution it took, and it probably took 30 of them. You know, yeah. <laughs> it probably wasn't very many. It's it's amazing how fast technology has advanced. Yeah, the now last, I've got like, this little thing two. that lasts for yeah. no th this, forever, yeah. and it does 1080 video I'm even at 120 funny. frames a second. You could go back 10 years and take over the world. With <laughs> yeah. This. No, and it's, it's crazy. I, I've been to a gas station in two months because I have an electric car now, and I just I. That's so that's I'm, now out of my life. I I'm don't so go. I'm so fucking jealous of you. Yeah. You know what else? You know what else? I went to do I went to go get my car inspected and they opened the hood. They go, 
where's the engine? <laughs> and, I, and I go, they look at the back, they go, there's no engine in this car. And I go, there's not an engine. It's got a motor underneath. It's got a trunk like, and a frunk. They didn't know what to do for state inspection, so they just kind of drove in the parking lot and they go, 12 bucks? <laughs> okay. It literally, if you open the hood of my car, there's nothing. What do you, it's called the frunk. It's called the front trunk. The, the front trunk. The frunk. And it's, uh, it's got one reservoir for fluids in it. There's no oil in the car. So you're going to oil just change. Is it just windshield wiper fluid? Just windshield wiper fluid. That's and the it. headlight fluid? Yeah. You, just we the headlight fluid. Thank you. <laughs> discovered some, or you discovered something unusual about your car <laughs> the other day when everything iced over. Oh, yeah. My car, uh, because it's electric, it doesn't ever get warmer. So the exterior oh, of the car. Yeah. So you think so like, my car's like a frozen block of ice, and like it's that's sat- funny. I saw icicles hanging off your car like mid afternoon, and no one else had that. Yeah, because the car think electri- heat up? electricity doesn't give off heat. Well, the batteries do heat up underneath. Yeah, but like the the, the engine the in the typical itself, places, yeah. like my hood was covered in ice all day, and it's like I hadn't, I just something I hadn't considered about it. You know, back up, man. What's I, that? Oh, I'm, I'm super jealous of that car. Yeah, every time so I look nice. at it, I feel like every time I look at it, it's like one percent chance more that I'm going to buy that car. <laughs> but every I time t- I see, it, I'm like, <laughs> I was even I was looking at the, like the Nissan Leaf today, and it was like it's like an electric car. You totally do it. That yeah. can, it goes eighty miles per charge, and that's like in even, Austin. That's but it's even cool the Volt would be amazing. My, listen, I, I'll tell you, my, even the Volt would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, totally, totally. Is my car? The, I think the baseline model will do two twenty miles on a charge, and then mine will do like two sixty five. Got the mid level one, and I don't even get close to that. Like, yeah. I drive to San Antonio back, I don't even think about it anymore. I drove to the shoot we did way up in northwest, out, outside of Austin. I, I don't even think about it. you lost your key at that shoot. Fucking A, I lost oh. my key in the woods, and Gavin found it. Yeah. In the wow. woods. That's, I was walking through car, the woods between the, our base and the actual filming location. I was like, is that the back of a tiny car sticking out of the ground? I was like, oh, it's Bernie's key. The key for his car Jesus. looks like a little toy car. Oh, no, he showed it before. Yeah, so it's yeah. not like you could even, like, yeah. even if you, like, pop the lock, how do you start that car? So I put the thing in my... That little, whatever this pocket is on your jeans, it's yeah, not... Yeah, little, little, like, it used to be a pocket watch. Pocket watch, pocket, right? yeah. So that's I just where, stick it there, and it, bu- it popped out, That's where you keep an iPod Nano. But I Get, knew it the moment it happened. Like, like I walked, and I knew it was somewhere, and I was looking around in that room, and Gavin just found it. Well, isn't... What, what, what is that thing called? It's like, where it's like an art... Not an RFID, but you can actually put, like, a GPS locator on something. Oh, yeah. And then track it through your phone. You should do that. <laughs> just stick it to the bottom of it, and be like, I will never lose this damn thing. Well, that's cool. I mean, that's like, uh, a, yeah, that's. But it's a pretty thing. stupid we have a picture shape of what it looks like because there. if you, put I actually any, hate this. If you I, put it, pressure it, on it, it'll pretty pop stupid. Out. I actually pretty don't like it. It's pretty that. stupid. I've been trying to find a way to like take it apart and See, like, get the chip out of it. The shape of that, because it's curved at both ends, means it will pop out of your pocket if you put pressure on the bottom. I would make sense. Yeah. So iPhone six is it gonna have something where it could put shit like that on your phone? That'd be cool. That would be cool, like like a digital wallet or something. Like I know that exists. Like ISIS, I think is what it's called. Yeah. Yeah. Like I can't wait for the iPhone to have that, like a digital thing yeah, where it's some... like just touch your phone to a, a thing and boom, it pays out of your account. I and even like that. Like you know, okay, I've got my key on my phone. Just reduce stuff out of your pockets. That's that's I like that idea. Okay. Well. We're at about time. We need to wrap things up here. All right. You so want to talk about the cl- insurance cl- thing? Click on the radio click. microphone in the top corner. Yeah. Why perfect. berries and flowers, you fucking idiot? What, what insurance thing? The, the e- Twitter e- campaign, e- like insurance whatever. 30 or whatever that was. Oh, insurance save 30. Did that bother you that everyone was tweeting that last night? No, I thought it was fine. I, I, thought, I thought it was a smart way to get people to tweet and use your hashtag. Okay. He's safe. I get that. I get that. But what bothers me about it a little bit is everybody goes on board with that. First of all, if this thing is successful, you're going to see this fucking nonstop, right? Because to run, honestly, to run a big ad campaign for $1.4 million is not a whole, it's not out of the ballpark money for a big ad for campaign. For an insurance company, yeah. especially Especially something that hits on that level, right? And has that many people tweeting about it. And I just don't want to see that all over fucking everything. I don't want, I don't want advertising on the web to turn into a chain letter. Yeah, mm. but everything on Twitter is crap anyway. It's all nonsense, not important. It's, yeah. just, it's just putting more of that out there. But I know, but social media, Gavin, though, is what most people are doing today. It's where you can interact with the most people, get directly to people. And I hate the fact that this insurance company ran a 2 to $3 million spot all said and done on TV and then they don't even run a campaign on the net. They just do kind of do a giveaway where they're like saying, oh, everyone just say our name a bunch of times. Well, you could times. say that the $1.5 million is is their social media budget. They and just chose to do it that way. You could also argue they're giving it directly to people as well. But it's like – it's I hate the fact that like the legitimacy level of th- – the Super Bowl, I did turn on the TV for the Super Bowl. That is probably the first time I've turned on my TV since Game of Thrones. I, we tried to turn on my TV at the New Year's party, and I had the DVR still unhooked. From when we watched the Game of Thrones in the wow. backyard last. You were really drunk, and you kept trying to explain to me why your TV didn't work, but I didn't understand. <laughs> You're like, blah, blah, blah. I was like, 
Bernie, I don't know what you're saying. And you were getting really angry. And then <laughs> you broke something. I don't know what it was. Like you threw something on the ground and it broke. Like, I, Bernie, I can't, I can't understand you. I don't know what it is you're trying to fix. You well, like, and you left early in the evening, man. Yeah. That's And then he was kicked out. No, he was kicked out. He no, was even the insurance thing, like, I just saw a bunch of people on my Twitter feed suddenly blow up and right start hashtagging this thing. Listen to this. And I was like, I don't even know what this is, but I'll go ahead and hashtag it, too. You did it. Absolutely. It was like, it's like someone's like, well, I could use the money in that hashtag or whatever. And it's like, you know, I could use 1.5 million hashtag. I'm like, fuck, I don't even know what they're Isn't talking about. Sure, I'll hashtag it. I'm broke. You, could you not use $1.5 million? Could not, yeah, everyone's broke compared to that. Yeah. Yeah, but did you do it? Did you tweet that? No. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, like, you're fine, right? You have just, you have just well, as much chance as I do at winning the thing. Or, yeah, yeah but, no so, chance. That's yeah, the point. Still, yeah, yeah I, I we're basically all on learned last night here. who on my Twitter feed has no concept of statistical probability. Basically, that's what I learned. Well, with the right lottery, here. with the lottery, someone wins the lottery. The best part about it was though, Jack did the tweet, but he doesn't know what it is. Like, what is it for? It's for insurance is giving away one point five million dollars. No, but I'll what leave. what is the insurance three thirty or whatever Save that is? Thirty. I, I don't know. Don't know. No. And you just passed along a market. I, I saw the commercial. I couldn't tell you what that hashtag yeah, is. I, I literally okay. don't. You, you, you save thirty percent, and they said that they save thirty percent by doing this TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thing. <sighs> anyway, I, it's a weird thing, but it's like this is where you know we do business, and I hate the fact that like I hate that the web and social media and like things that are actually really legitimately important and where people are today. I hate that it's kind of like treated like a throwaway thing. I, I can understand that. I don't like yeah, that. I can see that. If you, I mean, we live on in that kind and of And if that stuff then. works, because people just do more and more. You know what I mean? It's like if, you, if there was an ad campaign where it said, hey, go out and tell 20 of your friends and record yourself with your phone, telling them in person, tell them about it, and then enter, and you can win. You'd be like, I'm not fucking doing that. I'm yeah, not doing that. that. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, you sure it's safe 30. You sure it's safe 30. But <laughs> right. we've already seen this kind of stuff on a smaller level. <coughs> like, we've seen, you know, like, re like retweet this, you know, like, you know, we're going to give away something for whoever yeah, retweets. Well, the worst is when you get those fucking chain letters that are like, Microsoft, AOL, and CNN have teamed up, and yeah. everyone who forwards this letter is going to get yeah, $50. Bill, Bill Gates will donate $1 for whatever. It's blah, blah. real. Bill Gates approved it, or whatever. Yeah. See, that's the exact kind of stuff I'm talking about. I, I don't want the web to turn into that, like the fucking chain letters. Yeah, it's already we got Snopes on Twitter now, trying to fucking debunk all this. Okay. Okay, Gus. We're wrapping up. I had a lovely time, Gus. I had a lovely time. This was a good podcast. Aside from the Guinness talk. No, it's fine. But uh, we'll be back on Wednesday with an episode of The Patch. Next Monday with another episode of RT Podcast. No, but and, uh, we'll see you guys it's then. Broken. Broken. Valentine's Day is next Friday. Bye, shit. B Valentine's Day is coming up. Yeah, get some flowors for somebody. Free Bye. Oh, yeah, you yeah. We can't date this. Sorry. I mean, King Ryan Bye. Show. It's time for the RT Podcast. Every Wednesday it's a blast Whose turn is it to be a ass? Gaming movies and stuff too From the makers of Orange and Blue Sit down and listen to the drum tank Time for the RT Podcast Every Wednesday it's a blast Whose turn is it to be a ass? Gaming movies and stuff too From the makers of Orange and Blue Sit down and listen to the drum tank